Welcome to Saturday Night Insanity. I am your host, Zara Nizarak, and I'm just going to unmute the boys here so we can actually hear them. I just thought we'd sort of show us dancing a little bit. Us dancing. Turned out to be just me dancing, and we just saw Skin Slip sitting there staring blankly at whatever he was staring at, so that was a lot of fun. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks. What? I had to respond to a message. It was a, it was a question. That's porn. And what? And that's porn? Okay. <laughs> yeah, my Twitter decided to show me porn. Like I was unexpecting it. Oh, your Twitter does that a lot, I understand. Um, yes, <laughs> we're in the business, and we follow back out of courtesy, and uh, you know, porn. Sometimes we're like just all the uh, dancing going on, man. Sometimes hey, I'm just sitting there, like yeah. reading a post about, like reading stuff about, like you know, the latest movie, and suddenly uh, someone shoving the giant cock in a vagina shows up. I'm like, oh hey, hi. Well, that's, okay. That's. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, you know, variety is the spice of life, right? Um, so we're going to mix things up a little bit here, guys, uh, just because Garbage Gamer has to work at the hellishly early hour of noon tomorrow. I know. So, um, <laughs> I mean, it's midnight right now for Warren. So, so he would like to late. get at least 17 hours of sleep before then. <laughs> so in deference to that, we're going to do our pickups first this week. Then we're going to get into all of the news. So we're going to mix it up a little bit just in terms of sort of the order. Of events there. Pickups first. Oh, woo -woo. Two, double me. Um, I have a cold, so I apologize if I cough or sneeze or blow my nose and forget to mute. I apologize ahead of time. I try to remember to do it every time. But he does. You know. He's usually pretty good. It used to be you just blew your nose indiscriminately on stream constantly because That's, there was no way for me to mute and I was easily. Like, wow, dude. Really, dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. There was no easy way to mute. I know. But now I can just go. Oh crap. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> God, Please violently suddenly with the God crap. bless the Yeti and its easily accessible mute button. Uh, case in point. Case in point, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll start with pickups just to mix things up a bit. Uh, Stoud, what do you got? I got These Amazing Shadows, which is a fantastic Ooh. documentary about. So good. Filmmaking and about the uh, National Film Preservation Act of 1988 in the Library of Congress. It's specifically about Neat. the importance of the Library of Congress and yeah. what it's doing. And it's wonderful. It's really just a wonderful documentary. Very nice. And it's proof that they very well actually could get the original version of Star Wars. <laughs> there you go. It's in there. There's clips of it. Excellent. Yes, Very it nice. only takes the Library of Congress for us to get the original version of Star Wars. Yep. I also yeah. got <laughs> baseball cards. All and, right, uh, cards. Well, I got, I got more baseball cards. <laughs> oh, it's phase, man. Let him have his phase. Yeah, it's okay. Whatever. Yeah. I, just, I'm wrong with it. I got a baseball card price guy. Oh, oh, there you go. Why? I'm sensing. You like you like baseball cards. Nostalgia. Ah, uh, here I got. Hold on, hold when on. I was a kid, I, I used to. Hold love on, I got it. Okay, I, I got your price card. Hold on, wait, wait. How much is this card? Oh, fucking worthless. Right. Okay. <laughs> I must have got a limited number or a signature or a swatch from a uniform or something. Rookie it's cards. Worthless. Rookie cards. They're just worthless. Uh, rookie cards. Sometimes. Yeah. Nowadays, not even things. They're overprinted. Hey, 
You're hockey, literally looking for the like insert card. You, you what get insert the, ho ho hey, uh, uh, hockey. Hockey. <laughs> hockey. <laughs> if you get a Wayne Gretzky rookie card, that one's valuable. That That's because it's fucking old. That one. <laughs> well, because it's also here's Wayne thing. Gretzky. Come on. The, uh, Take the new Michael Jordan. Know about the, uh, the new Michael the Jordan rookie card. card. Because <laughs> everybody knows about the Michael Jordan rookie card and how it shot up in value. It's like one of the most valuable things out there. Of course, it's Michael fucking Jordan. It's Michael Jordan. The oh, new Michael, Michael Jordan, Jordan rookie card. card is the Mike Trout rookie card, which came out in 2011, 2012, I think. Okay. And um, the reason being, Mike Trout is like an incredible, like everything he does on the field is magic kind of stuff. He's one of the best players we've ever seen, basically. Right. And now even mad the the card itself you not graded the card not graded is worth three hundred dollars right now wow. right so right. once is what moved, Michael Jordan's was worth magic. back in the nineties was <laughs> by the way that that's fine and that's true that does happen but that is not the usual the usual is yeah. ten cents I'm not fucking <laughs> unless it's an insert card and you got maybe a couple bucks and that goes for any trading card right now it has nothing to do with whether it's sports or comics or anything. They're completely worthless unless you get insert cards. That's hey, it. hey, skin slip. Let the yeah. man have his face. Come on. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just, you know, I, I just don't see the point of fucking... Let him stuff. enjoy <laughs> his worthless crap, okay? <laughs> That's what it's worth. What is eBay selling for? You found your price guide. I, yeah, I saved you money. eBay selling. eBay price hey, is price worthless. Worthless crap. Yeah. Okay. How about this one? Oh, worthless crap. Uh huh. And uh, and how many people are buying this? Oh, nobody. Okay. Oh wait a minute. No, no. This one sold. This one sold one, and that was to me oh, when I originally bought it. Never oh, mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, no, that was my sale. <laughs> I bear it. Yes, one man's treasures, another man's treasures. Exactly. So obviously, something stout is enthusiastic and excited about and having fun with, so we, we should respect that. Now, which, if he wants to, you know, fool himself into thinking they'll be worth something someday, then let him. You know, it's, it's all I, part I, of the I, joy. I picked up a box <laughs> today. I found nothing, but there was a box of sports cards, and I opened it up. It's mostly football. Damn. If there were baseball cards, I would have bought them <laughs> just to send him to stab because he's in the space. Uh -huh. I also, by the way, just since Cass got a bunch of here, urine cups. <laughs> <laughs> food containers, not your Take some portion. samples there. Uh... I said that joke before the stream went live. I want credit. Okay. This would be you're gonna have the credit. I'm the writer never the gets the credit. Only the performer does. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's for feces only. Right? Feces. Uh, <laughs> okay. Fecal oh, cups. Fecal cup. <laughs> I just fecal. I, have... <laughs> I also got a Chinese knockoff Fitbit. Excellent. Yay. 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 So it's called I a do. bit fit. I can say something really racist about it. I'm not oh, okay, so the drone strike knows. <laughs> yeah, I can track him so he knows where he's at. Mm -hmm. Plus casualties if the drone can find you. By oh, I just looked over the stream and I see this giant Batman symbol. I'm, like, I'm <laughs> working on it. I just realized I don't have the bat symbol here on the. <laughs> there we go. So what, we, what we've been doing is putting it in the jar. So the idea is, as the jar fills up with bits, it buries the bat symbol. So then, someone has to drop a big, heavy, expensive bit to clear out the jar, so the bat symbol can breathe again. So that's that's how that works. Someone has to drop a big, heavy load so the bat symbol can breathe. <laughs> that's right. I got this because my doctor said I needed something to check my blood pressure, uh -huh. and this checked my blood pressure. There you oh. go. It only costs a dollar. Chinese knows your blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Amazing. Wow. Technology, man. Or you could have gone, gone to the. Target, it's like a hundred fucking dollars. Or, these or you, you could have gone to your local drugstore and used their blood pressure checking machine for free. Oh, I'm glad you live in one of those quaint places. One of those things. <laughs> you don't live in a big inner, a big ah. city with kids who destroy everything. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I was uh, going to say, yeah, those don't exist around here anymore. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Vandalism no, they, uh, the local drugstore right across the street, I can go there every day and check my blood pressure 10 times a day if I want. I'm sure they get sick of me being there, but I could do it. It would cost me Good nothing. My sister's a medical professional. She could just check it for me. 
There you go. Actually, my dad has one. <laughs> Never mind. I just don't care. They I go upstairs. Blood pressure's good. I, I got you all beat. I just go upstairs. I don't feel <laughs> Look, like I my did. heart's going to explode anytime soon. That's good enough for me. Blood pressure's fine. I wore fine. a heart monitor. I wore a heart <laughs> monitor for like two weeks. Trust me, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with heart. Real strong. My veins don't look like they're trying to rip themselves out of my body by being so high pressure, so... It's good. It's good. Yeah, that's that's that makes sense. That's that's how that works. Yeah. Apparently, we need to leave Sean alone in his Canadian bubble. That's apparently, I'm just living <laughs> in the promised land of easily checkable blood pressure. Apparently, um, yeah. anything else, Dad? <laughs> no. You clearly picked up some, not, some pizza. Now that you've criticized everything I got. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I did. That was skin <laughs> no, I did. I <laughs> criticized everything you did. He criticized a few of the things. I criticized every single thing you've got. Every single thing. But the, yeah, that last criticism was just paranoia, so not real. I cool. just love that Sean goes, no, I didn't, literally seconds after criticizing the Fitbit. Yeah. Am I saying it was $7? <laughs> oh, your $1 Fitbit? Even $7. the Fitbit. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's okay, Stout. I'm sure your Fitbit is lovely. Um, <laughs> I don't want to see your. And I see you even got it in red to kind of match your hair color. That's excellent. Yeah. So. Got to go, Jimmy. It was random color. Wasn't what it? kind of pizza is that? It looks like thin crust, and uh, what what's it got on it? It's just cheese, burnt a little bit. That's you know. okay. It's, that's the flavor. All right. Uh, that's the wrong most uh, garbage gamer. What do you got? Actually, what do you got All in the right. background there, first off? This is, uh... Has anyone guessed it in the chat yet? I don't know. If Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon. Totally. Jet Set Future, right? Jet Set Radio Future. Yeah, ah. it's not Jet Set Grind Radio, which is the first it's one. It's equal to Jet Grind Radio or Jet Set Radio, depending on what country. I was just going to Jet Set Future and Jet Set. Yeah, Jet Set Radio, just, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good games. Good. This was a launch title for the original Xbox. Very nice. Yep. So, yes, right. Jet Set Radio Future. Jet Set Radio Future, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the first thing I picked up here was uh, Resident Evil Revelations Collection for Ooh. the Switch. Now, this is uh, one of the two amazing things that happened to me this week. Uh-huh. Uh, this is, I bought this used for 20 bucks at half-price books. And, of course, it has Revel uh, Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2. But as you can see here, it says, Internet download and micro SD card required. I'm thinking, oh, does it install to the system? Hmm. No, the second game is a digital download only. Ah, oh, that's annoying. So I'm like, well, I bought this used. So I'm like, oh, crap. At least I'm getting one out of the two games. Yeah. So I notice that it has a half price book sticker in right there and right there, which means it's been traded in twice. Oh, great. Probably because it didn't have the uh, digital code. Something like that. So, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. I'm like, oh, crap. Mm -hmm. So, complete shot in the dark. I, of course, I do this with all used titles. I have a code. Try I go and I, I, I try the code anyway. It worked. Saw that it was digital, decided it probably wouldn't work and returned it. Yeah. yeah. Didn't even try. Probably the same thing again. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I ended up, the code actually worked. That's nice. hilarious. That's good. So, someone yeah, I ended up getting that. both games. I and... Someone reasonably thought, I'm going to play the first one. And if I like it, I'll install the second one. I'll go then... download and install the I second think, one. Uh, so, obviously, they hated the first one. Um, yep. So, uh, I'm pretty sure I have both of those on PS3. Yeah, these these the Revelations games have been around for a while. Yeah, uh, like I said, this one is came out in 2017 for the yeah. Switch. It was an early game for the Switch. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that was that was amazing thing number one. Um, I ran across this uh, little NES uh, <clears throat> gem here, Play Action Football. Play Action. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's the one that talks to you, right? Say what? That's the one that talks to you. Yeah, this is the one that has a really weird digital. Uh, it's so weird. and yeah it's just like i mean I it's like... <laughs> it's hard to explain uh -huh. I, was gonna say, I feel like it's cursing at me in a foreign language uh -huh. next to the world, this was the game back in the day for especially for this year when when this game came out i don't even remember what year it was um this was the game that was used to predict that year's super bowl because of the accurate rosters oh, of player okay. for each team, interesting. Um, for it had they had that year's rosters like they do now for all the NFL games. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also, this thing was like three dollars. <laughs> nice. And it's in like amazingly good condition. Like this label isn't even scratched. That's very nice. Yeah. So, 
Beautiful. So yeah, play a NES play action football is what it's called. Alright, cool. So, loads of fun. So the next one here, um, again, I have not tried these codes yet. I'm not expecting these codes to work. Um, the, I got the gold edition because it has the game plus the season pass plus the deluxe pack. Bullshit. <clears throat> uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Watch Dogs 2. Ah. Here the PS4. Go. I have not played this game yet at I all. I remember you played the first one like when it was new. And, yeah, uh, I actually pre-ordered the first one. I think that was one of the first. That was originally a PS4 launch title, I think, wasn't it? Uh, no, it was a, it was an early PS4 an game. Early PS4 game. I think it was supposed um, to be launched. I don't remember how it did, got delayed. And uh, we were like, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah one game was this was during the really early lifespan of the, the PS4 right. because it also had the first game also had a 360 and a PS3 release. Right. Yeah, I remember that. And, and there was the whole thing was, you know, you can still play it on the PS3 and the Xbox 360, but if you want better detail and graphics, you get the PS4 I version. I think I have or, it on Steam. <laughs> I will. Uh, yeah, yeah, it did later get a PC release, which is obviously even better than that because you know better right. P- PC master. <laughs> uh, I'm just checking. No. Yes, I do. I have it on Steam. I've never played it. <laughs> you never want to? I'd, so. like to, I'd like to though. I like. I actually also it. have the PC version of the first Watch Dogs because it was given to me. Like oh, nice. back, yeah. back when it was almost very, very new. Like someone bought it. Someone bought a graphics card. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. A friend of mine and they didn't care for a watch they didn't they're like i don't ever do you want the code i'm like sure i already have the ps4 version but i'll take it yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so somewhere i think it's on steam or something yeah i have the first game nice um this one i still haven't gotten the again like, yeah, i got this at the thrift store so it has like the little marker where they wrote the price on the actual front cover oh, okay uh, uh, yeah. i mean i just need to use like a, some soap and water to wash it off but yeah, it'll come it's off. the uh, unrated director's cut of paranormal activity too you nice. can also just pay Secret. five dollars you know the easiest way to do it take another sharpie rub it on there and before it dries you just rub it comes right off Two oh seconds. yeah i, I know that, yeah. just use another sharpie boop, 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 and rub on it as long as it's not on paper you know if it's on the paper you're fucked but. yeah oh no this is on the plastic no, it's on the plastic, on the plastic. Yeah. Take a Sharpie, rub it on there. Any right. kind of non permanent right, marking, people will rub right off. Checked yeah. both the discs are there. They both look great. Very nice. Um, it's five bucks. Um, I've actually only ever seen this once. Yeah, I've, because I've I, was, only I was in that. Most of them once. I was, I say, I was in that purist camp where I was like, you know, this movie series only needs to have one movie because oh, it was God. a singular story. Dude. You um, know? Dude. It's. I know. It's, I know. Yeah, I think the second one's the best. In fact, it's the only one I've seen more than once. I think. Uh, I think the third one is the best, personally. I've seen I the third one more than once. The third one is mostly great. because, uh, like I said, I did not go to the theater to see it, and the very first time I ever saw the very first one was the original director version that yeah. didn't have Steven Spielberg's <clears throat> like movied up ending in it uh, of the modern se- uh, uh, like uh, so, horror series. That's the only one I've kept up with. So that's like, where I. Don't I Used okay. that there was a sequel, I'm like because the original director ending didn't right to a sequel. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. interesting enough, uh, the marked one pr- shows it could technically still be the yeah. uh, you're talking about paranormal activity, yeah. Paranormal activity is yeah. the only one I've actually kept up with, uh, yeah. Uh, and, and what's that in that inception, uh, the the what should we call conjuring? It? No, the other one with the eye, the eye oh, letter. insidious, insidious is the one I want to get. I don't have any of those. I have the oh. Conjuring 1 and 2. Insidious and it has the great. first Annabelle. I love two movies behind the Conjuring. Insidious and is like just fun PG-13 level horror, but it's good because it's got a good ongoing story and compelling and characters. Sinister. Yeah. That's the other one. Right? Sinister? Yeah. Uh, and that's the other one I don't have any of. The Conjuring like, is freaking terrifying, and I need to get caught up on it. I've got all of them. I, I've got all of them yeah. up to date. I just need to watch them. I need Animal Creation and The Nun. I've got Animal Creation and The Nun. I just haven't watched them yet. And I still have to watch Conjuring 2. Conjuring 2 is uh, really good. That's what I've heard. So right this now. next one that I... I think it might even be better than the first one. That's also what I've heard. Here after a very oh, long yeah. time of only owning the... I think it's the 20th Anniversary Edition DVD. Mm-hmm. Uh, I finally have the 25th Anniversary Edition Blu-ray. Uh-huh. <sighs> Akira. Yes, nice. That's the one I've got. Yeah, I, I still have my DVD, the uh, 20th anniversary edition. 
Same. I have the tin. Yeah. I have. Uh, uh, I mean, the tin to Sean forever. I've been meaning yeah. to get this for so long, and it's been way too long. <laughs> yes, I finally have this movie on Blu-ray. Yeah. Thank God. It's a good Blu-ray version <laughs> too. It's got all the audio tracks, like all the English tracks. Yeah, this is the three disc set yeah. that has. Yeah. The... So it even has the you know the original uh, what uh, streamline dub from the late eighties. Yeah. That everyone makes so... fun of. <laughs> so yes. Finally, because I, I, I've been seeing this half price books, but they've had it marked up like crazy. It was like twenty seven, twenty eight dollars. Really? For it. Yeah. But this is for a used copy. Oh, and I'm just like, that's it, no, no. So finally, I went on there for like a half half price day at half price books. Yeah. And I got it for like 10 bucks. Yeah. See, I paid sixteen dollars, I think, for it. brand new. Like yeah. when it first came out, I think I got it. Had it. You know, the deal. I think so, I paid about twenty Canadian for it when it first came out. Same price. And I saw, yeah. yeah, and I saw that everywhere. Like they even had that in Walmart. The slipcover is hard as well. Oh yeah, I saw it everywhere too. But it was like thirty plus everywhere. So the fact that you even found the slipcover and is you it? got a ten bucks. I've cool seen one. the yeah. slipcover pretty commonly for that one. Uh, well, it's not, and they don't make them anymore because there's releases out there without slipcovers now. Well, I've seen, yeah, I I'm saw, sure there is, but I mean, I. On, on, the, but on I, my Walmart. You know? I, like, I saw the slipcover available for that for a long ass time. Oh, yeah. Like, a very like long time. Now. Yeah. But I just now, like, like uh, the last time I went to Walmart, like, a couple months ago, I remember seeing there was, like, a, like 20 copies in Walmart's, like, bin thing. No slipcover. So they do, they don't have slipcovers at some point. So if you were holding out, just, get, you need to get that. Yeah. And you can do that by clicking the Amazon link in the description below this video. Yes. Yes, and, and it's probably like eighteen bucks or less. Or it, actually, it's also on the video. There's an overlay of the Amazon thing. I was I was trying to make it uh, generic so it could be used for either video, but that's oh, fine. Okay, if you're on YouTube, it's in the description. <laughs> if yeah, you're on go. Twitch when it's live, there's there's an overlay on the screen as well. So, yeah, yeah. All right. So this <laughs> next one I picked up here, um, I've been filling out this collection for a very long time. It's the. Uh, SNL Universal collection. Okay. Uh, so this is the SNL collection best of 06, 07. Nice. Got it for two bucks. <laughs> As you can see nice. Wow. <laughs> uh, there's one reason why I bought this. Mm -hmm. One reason. Dick in a box. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Dick in a box. Uh, it's, the in a box. Of, it's the best of comp of the, of the sketch show. It's, there's no reason not to get it. It's yeah. awesome. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I did have another one, but it ended up being the wrong disc. Ah. Um, it was a. Uh, it had the box was one I didn't have, but the disc inside was of one I did have. So, oh, so, yeah. so they mismatched it. I hate it when they do yeah. that. Yeah, but this is the 0607 set that includes. Uh, <laughs> it has people like uh, Christian Wig, Jason Sudeikis. Uh, it's got Dane Cook, Alec Baldwin, Jake Gyllenhaal, Hugh Laurie, yeah, uh, Matthew Fox, and Ludacris. So, so it's just like that. Post era that. Yep. Post millennium. You know, getting into more modern, but Matthew yeah, Fox like, because lost at the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So as soon I was reading the back of it, and then as soon as I saw this, that it had the digital short "Dick in a Box," and I'm like, uh, "Yeah, <laughs> grabbing <Sold. it. laughs> Dick in a Box." Because I, I was, it said it had Justin Timberlake in it. And I'm like, I'm like, that's good because <laughs> Justin Timberlake's fucking hilarious on Saturday Night Live. I remember uh, they started putting out season sets of Saturday Night Live starting from the very first seasons, but they didn't keep up with them. They only did like the first no. few. Yeah, I've, I've been collecting so well, that's why. Yeah, you know, I've well, been I've, collecting yeah, the best they... of, of like specific actors. Yeah. So, um, and the one that I was going to grab was the best of um, uh, Mike Myers. Yeah. Yeah. That's but, a good one. but it had. It had the volume two disc of the best of Will Ferrell in it. Oh. I'm like, I already got oh, that. Damn so. <laughs> I've got damn a couple it. of those SNL uh, discs. I can't remember which ones I have, but uh, I have like six, seven of them. But I remember around the same time they they uh, stopped doing the season sets. They uh, basically have like a Saturday Night Live on demand channel through the cable companies that Ooh. has all the old Saturday Night Lives uh, available, and you can just watch whichever ones you want. Yeah. So. I think the only thing is uh, many, many of the uh, musical guests are cut out. But... Not from those. Oh, really? That's good, because I heard that's a problem with... And that uh, was also oh, with the uh, DVDs, was they, uh, they oh, kept as many of them in as they could. Yes, they awesome. try. Um, but yeah, those that collects the best of collections. I mean, yeah, I got like... Um, 
the biggest one that I found, I managed to find for a, no joke. I found it for a fucking dollar. Was the best of John Belushi. Oh yeah, I think I, I actually like, I think oh, that's one of the ones I have. Yeah, and, you know, best uh, you know I said I have Will Ferrell, Adam Sandler, John Belushi. Um, I think I have Karen Allen also. Nice. Um, and then also my personal favorite, I watch it every year, is the uh, Christmas special set. <laughs> best of all the Christmas specials. Oh, nice. Because it has the the sweaty balls sketch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Another Actually, classic. One of the other Alec- ones I've got is the uh, uh, it's an animated compilation, so it has some of the it has like all the ambiguously gay duo. Oh, and, oh, uh, cool. I think it has some oh, of the original oh, Milton bad. sketches that were the inspiration for Office Space, and a bunch of other random ones by the all same, the uh, same TV guys. Funhouse sketches and that's what it is. Yeah, it's it's the yeah. TV Funhouse collection. So it basically has all the uh, shorts. Love TV Funhouse. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I can think of, yeah, is from the ambiguous the gate duo where they run into the bathroom stall to change. <laughs> yeah. the time clock goes no 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 and it stops. No 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 they come out. <laughs> Welcome to the Discord Inevitable Hulk. We were expecting you. All right. Uh, okay. So, a welcome message that just popped up for him. Did you join Discord? Oh, oh, I, oh yeah, okay. Creepy face, so I decided to do a creepy voice for it. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Forgot about this one. It's laying on the ground back here. Okay. Um. So this next one, uh, if you've been following us on Discord, Inevitable Hulk. I like that. The inevitable Hulk. <laughs> um, is I had a brownout. Uh, if you know what a brownout is, it's not uh, bad. When you Poop in your shorts. Uh, <laughs> it's a it's an electrical shortage that doesn't quite go all the way out. Yeah, just enough to turn your computer off and bleeps, Yeah, it bleeps all yes. of your electronics pretty much. Uh-huh. Well, it bleeped and killed most of my hard drives. Uh, no. Oh, that's what oh, you have a surge protector. I knew you were doing like a bunch of crazy hard drive recovery yeah. recently, but I didn't know. Yeah, why. it was it was two. It was one point six terabytes of data. Jesus. That I almost lost, wow. um, thanks to a program called Czar X that managed to bring everything back. I got everything off the drives. Nice. Uh, but I needed a place to put it mm-hmm. since I didn't have any. So I bought a Seagate expansion, eight terabyte external drive. Oh, there you go. So yeah, so this is the biggest purchase of the week. Mm-hmm. Uh, and back. a purchase I didn't need, but until now. Yeah. But so. Uh, so yeah, so I got everything backed up, and I'm now running a. I now have like total across the drives that are accessible and external. I have like twelve gig, uh, twelve terabytes of storage on my fucking computer right Excellent. now. Excellent. So that's, I need yeah, storage that's, like that's that. about yeah. half of what I have. How much did you pay for that? <laughs> this was about 130. Oh, that's not bad at all. Holy crap! For no, eight, yeah, for these eight are terabytes. Not, that's yeah. crazy cheap. Yeah. Yeah, these expansion, especially if ones from Seagate. Yeah, the biggest, like the ten terabyte ones, are only like 180. Oh wow, they've come way down yeah. in price. Then I need to. Yeah, and it's it's USB 3.0, externally powered. You nice. know, it's nice. So sweet. So last but not least, picked up an entire uh, complete series anime set. Nice. Of Dragon Ball Z 30th anniversary. No. Nope. Eureka <laughs> Seven or Eureka Seven, depending on you know how you want to say erection it. seven oh, 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 Eureka, seven, right. Eureka seven but they decided to go with the literal japanese inability yeah. to try and, try and say the word properly and use that as an official like is Eureka. i'm like no that's that's just because they can't say the r it's supposed to yeah, be pretty Eureka, much. you assholes you know and their only reason i like saying Eureka seven one it's fun to say uh-huh. and two it's it's the main not him but it's the girl it's her name uh, right, right so yeah. it sounds more like a name so yeah, Very nice. so I got the complete series. So this is the first box set. Nice and shiny. And here's the second box set. Oh, two this box is fifty. Sets. Cool. Yeah, it was fifty bucks total. So it's twenty five each. Look at that. Uh, Twelve. Oh, discs. that's pretty. Yeah, these are really nice sets. That's pretty. Uh, released by Bandai. You They're know, shiny. these are. So this is the other amazing <clears throat> thing that happened uh, this week. I was looking through, and I'm sitting there just kind of looking at the sets, checking them out. Then I notice on the very first one, mm-hmm. there's a signature on it. Oh. I'm like, oh, and it says Renton, which Dude. is uh, the main character's first no name. No way! So I'm like, so, so I looked online, and I could not find this signature written. I'm thinking it was, like, maybe screened onto the, all the sets or whatever. Uh-huh. No, it's not. 
So this was probably actually... brought to a convention and, and actually signed. And this is wow. uh, Johnny Young Bosch, which is the voice actor, the American voice actor for Rent. Black nice. Ranger. Black Ranger, isn't he? Yeah, the Black Ranger, pretty much. From Ninja Force or Ninja, the Power Rangers Ninja or whatever, right? The yeah. post yeah, Mighty the newer one. He was a frog, right? Okay. What? Yes. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, that's a racist term. Sure. Okay. For but, French uh, people. But I'm talking about the yeah. Megazord. Oh. But yeah, but that's a signature. <laughs> he said he's the voice of Renton. Did yeah. you check the other cases to see if any of the other ones? I, I looked at every single one. Yeah, there's no other signatures on it. Now you've got a mission to do. Get the other boxes signed by the other voice actor. Oh, yeah, yeah. I need to get them. That's uh, never going to happen. You know. But it's yeah, cool that you got that one. <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, it's a signed. So this is a signed it box. Happened. It won't. Come on, don't you his dreams and Also, now. yeah, if you've never that's seen the show. His, that's your dream. This is a <laughs> really, like, really... This one cool thing that happened, and you have to turn it into something bigger than it's ever going to be. It's a quest. <laughs> it's calling you. A side quest, quest is only calling you. You have Take interest in. Side quest. How many Take anime quest. conventions does okay, Garbage okay, Gamer okay. go to, for God's sake? The experience <laughs> began to the okay. side quest. I eat this, none, this. ever. <laughs> I, when I told... Uh, Skin said that I was going to go to Las Vegas. Uh -huh. The first thing that came out of his mouth was <laughs> that he told me, what was it, go to the uh, MGM? The, the uh -huh. Bellagio. The Bellagio. Uh -huh. Mezzanine go, bathroom. Go to the Mezzanine White bathroom. Uh -huh. and, and, some, and, and wanted me to look up some random photo in the Mezzanine <laughs> fucking bathroom on the third floor. It's a hilarious photo. It I'm just like, no, I'm it. not going to. I'm going with my dad. I'm not going to go sit there and side, <laughs> sidetrack for a fucking hour to go look for oh. a random photo in a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. Oh Do it. God. It'll be worth it. There are no photos on the internet Jesus. on purpose. <sighs> Skin slip is no. insane, ladies and gentlemen. In case there was any doubt. <laughs> I guess so. The one thing you have to go to Las Vegas for is to look at this random photo in this random bathroom. If nothing else, the third floor do mezzanine that. at the Bellagio. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so obviously you didn't go. And <laughs> oh. No, because I was not staying at the Bellagio. We didn't really go into the Bellagio. You wish the Lux were it's right over there. It's, on the fucking it's not. No, okay. First off, it's not fucking right over there. I know. And nothing's right over there. <laughs> Maybe two miles away, really. Even if it was Wait. a straight it's shot. It's right next Wait door. A but it's a mile walk, Brandon. Like, oh, okay. it's a straight true. shot, it's about a mile walk to for the Bellagio oh, from uh, Lux. And that's just to the corner. That's not to the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's just to where it is. That's not actually into the hotel. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like right next door. But yeah, but next door is like two and a half miles. Yeah, it's literally like an hour of, tre you know, trudging through Vegas just to fucking get there. It's <laughs> <sighs> worth it. Talk anyway. <laughs> Shut up. That's what, Brandon, that's what Brandon does to Garbage Gamer. He just... <laughs> so, so what? Um, so I guess the last little thing. So wait, wait is, a second. Just to clarify, wait. you were staying at the Villaggio. No, no. That's a loaf. That's that's a brand of bread here in Canada. Okay, I have, I have a quick question. But no. How far up your ass did you need to pull to get this joke out? <laughs> Not very, because you kept saying it over and over again, so all I had to do was find a picture of Brad. Lagio. High class. Uh, uh, Lagio. B. High class. Well, they're right, right next to each other on the keyboard, so, you know. High class. Easy to really up to say. Here's the secret. The Bellagio is a high class casino that only the low class people think is high class. Exactly. Or really rich people go elsewhere. Oh, Trust so kind of like the bread. It's it's like... Uh, yes. Uh, it's like Italiano, sure. but for poor people. It's like you. <laughs> it's like the Shrek and Donkey arguing over onions. Fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, but the last little thing you could—I mean, you could see it running in the background. I have my Xbox, my modded Xbox, back up and running, <laughs> and it is now amazingly running a solid-state hard drive. Awesome. Yes, the original generation. Yes, it does. Like if I want to back out of this game, it literally is just. Boom! <laughs> launch wow. the game. That's crazy. yeah, and I can go back in. Let me let me launch the game again. So, what system is this? The, the original Xbox. Xbox. The original Xbox. Okay, right. Launch a game. This is coming and off the hard drive. It's, it's running. And boom! <laughs> it is. Nice. 
That's it, literally. Like, I played Halo, the original Halo earlier, and the little load screen went, mm -hmm. it has, like, the word loading, and it kind of pans across. I mean, playing it off the disc, it goes, like, and slowly kind of runs What's across. What's that, Iceman? The, the bread and butter of the show? Sure. Is that Villaggio bread? <laughs> you still going about that? Yeah, it's good bread when you're... <laughs> Right up. Anyway, uh, bread but it, it literally just goes like <laughs> whoop and like runs right past the screen takes like three tenths of a second to load cool it's fucking nuts and that's still being converted from sata to an ide connector <laughs> it's wow. still loading like five times faster than it normally does well, it actually loads sometimes so fast that it actually crashes the system i mean those time. hard drives tend to be like pretty cheap ass like laptop hard drives anyway but Oh yeah, th like this one that slow. I bought is the Kingston 120 gig SSD. I bought no joke for 20 bucks. Oh, yeah, those Kingston are so cheap now. Them. Yeah, I mean it's just like bargain basement cheap, but it's all you need in this thing. Dude, I bought a like a 50 gig one or whatever, like for a scratch drive for like 20 bucks when I made the computer three years ago, two years ago now. Oh yeah, you know, like it was like cheap then, it's even cheaper now. <clears throat> and solid state's in like damn near everything now. Like it's, it's crazy. So oh, I know. Oh yeah, and cheaper. if it isn't. You can put it in damn near everything as it should be. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can put that right, in there. These sorry. pickups brought to you by Villaggio. I hate you. When you want Italiano but are on a budget, it's Villaggio. I tally. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to send him a case. I love you. You love your bread. He's going to have his Two Italiano. Weeks from now, he's going to eat his pasta with his Italiano bread. Two weeks from now, he's going to go Itali live and have the no, Villaggio shirt Italiano. and hat on. Villaggio. No, 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 he's going to have a Villaggio and shirt and hat Jesus on. Jesus Christ. Can everybody shut up? Italiano no, no. is a brand of bread. I'm not like just saying Italiano I, I to be racist. I know. That's no why we're... We're not arguing that. That's why oh, we're okay. saying it like that. All right. We're like, I'm saying in, you're a sellout. Having, so they'll send you a shirt and a hat and a bunch of bread, and you'll wear it next you're, week. You're having some Italiano bread. <laughs> they'll, just, they'll just go move the chair behind you closer, and there'll just be a pile of like Bellagio bread on the chair behind you, a hat and a shirt. Welcome to SNI. Okay. Like, like totally branded. <laughs> Your like hat, shirt, bread, everything. I think, Poster. I think we know the name of this week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you, you by, by Bellagio, Bellagio Bread. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Everyone's favorite Ditaliano wannabe. Better name Cram at the Bellagio ship. <laughs> oh God. Jesus. So, skin slip. What'd you get this week? Oh, um, I got one thing. I'm a fan of three and a quarter inch alternate G.I. Joe scale toys. Nice. This is a kind of rare uh -huh. uh, Zima Toys Model 900 tank. It's kind of rare because they're kind of common, uh -huh. but not in this condition. Right. This condition still has a friction motor that works. Oh, I don't want to fuck it up. So yeah, yeah. It's got the braking locking mechanism to like halt the motor suddenly. It's got this still... Ratchets oh, properly. Listen to that, yeah. This yeah. still attached. This still properly scales oh, back in. Nice, that's cool. Okay, just the fact that all the still the handle. This thing is always gone. Almost always gone. The yeah. handle here. The reason why it's got a handle is because it's also a figure carrying case. Nice. You hold it or up for just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Sorry. Just for four figures, it. basically. Nice. Now. Uh, plus, all the stickers are still applied. Uh, the only thing that smells a little bit like a basement. Uh, like I can figure that out. Man. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> you'll find these for about 60 bucks shipped. Um, almost all of them are fucked up. To, and used, but I got this for friends price like half that. Nice. So, And it's probably one of the best quality ones I've seen in, like, on the internet. I mean, even the, the rubber is still here, and that's usually worn off. That's pretty you know? cool, yeah. So that was, it's, that was well it's taken care of. Beautiful. Just wonderful. I, I'm gonna. It's gonna go on display. I just don't know. I, I don't know why I thought you're like. And the friction motor still works. Break. <laughs> well, no, no. Oh, I that's why really, 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 he snapped it, it shut. Crunch. Oh shit. Old, I I literally kept it like this. 
because they're going faster. I can yeah. literally shatter the plastic uh, cogs. Yeah. They're very fragile in this unit specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Really made is a third party GI Joe product. Yeah. You know, it's obviously not GI Joe brand. No. And so, from a Chinese company, and but, so the, just it's such good quality. I, I just I say, had it. Yeah, but it's the right scale. You're saying for. For your GI yeah. Joe's, so yeah, and, and it's a, specifically a third-party GI Joe product. It's a literally a product meant for that scale. Nice. Um, the uh, just I I, I I lost my thought. Damn it. Okay. Oh well. Cool. That's it. That's cool. Cool. Well, I got three pickups this week. Uh, oh, I remember real quick. Uh, my friend bought uh, found this in his basement. He had it from his, from his childhood. He had this from his childhood, by the way. Oh, okay. And then. I said, oh, two years ago, I said, oh, that's really fucking cool. I've been looking for one of those. And that's a really good condition. And he just hits me up a week ago and he's like, hey, you still want that tank? Here's some photos. I'm like, yes. <laughs> he's like, oh, okay, so how much you want for it? Like, say a number, dude. I, I can't give you a number. Just tell me what you want for it. I'll either counter or I'll take it. Yeah. Gave me a number and I'll take it. And that's it. Done. And here it is. <laughs> and he, he packaged the hell out of this, too. So, anyway, you may continue, sir. Very nice. So I just got three uh, this week. Basically, uh, was doing some grocery shopping at Walmart. Stopped by the Blu-ray section. Got these because they were cheap and ones that I'd been wanting. Um, so I picked up Resident Evil Vendetta. Now this is the second CG animated film. This is not one of the oh. live action ones. This is its that own one. thing. Gotcha. And uh, I understand that these CG films are quite good, actually. And I have not yeah, seen either generation. of them. I do not have degeneration. That's the one I still need. But um, but yeah, I've heard good things about them. Saw this one in the bargain bin for like you know seven bucks. I was like, yeah, I think I will get that. I and they're very faithful. So one of these days yes, I'll are. I'll get degeneration. And then this next one, heard it was a really good suspenser. Saw they had a couple left with the slip cover, and it was already going fairly cheap. Oh, and I see there's some price tag bloop on the cover here. I'll to air on the slip cover. I'll take care of that. Uh, I love that. We Not have really. A Quiet Place. I haven't seen that yet. Which I heard <laughs> is a very good uh, thriller slash sort of horror type thing. So, yeah. God damn it. People call them thrillers. Fuck sakes. Sorry. That's quite good. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with thrillers? Call it thriller because they're too afraid to call it horror because it's horror. It's a thriller. It did a thriller. Thriller. <laughs> okay. Well, so much for a Boo! <laughs> no zombie dance party here, folks. All right, I got most of it off. I'll get through it. Everything? Hey, no, and I got one more. One more. Again. In the long time on that sticker there. Again, because it was fairly cheap and they still had the slip cover. And it's a very nice matte finish slip cover with some glossy bits. We have. The Predator. I really liked it. There you go. I really did, except for the five. Se like I said, keep you. I told Eric earlier, when you're in the last fifteen minutes, we, you can't fucking blink because there's a literally a scene, an important scene that happens. It's five seconds long and it's gone. Okay. I had to rewind the movie. Cool. I had to rewind. The movie. I will keep. Like, what just happened? Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I try to pay attention during movies anyway, so I'll, I'll, yeah. I blinked, I literally blinked and I missed it, though. Like, I blinked so anyway, and I missed it. Okay. What happened? So anyway, mostly matte with uh, shiny Predator, shiny logo, very nice. Yeah, slip cover, same artwork yeah, inside. Yeah, I need to get that one. But, we uh, were literally just talking about that. But yeah, I've, uh, I mean, I've got all the other ones uh, in some form, so I wanted to see the new one. I heard it was, I heard mixed reviews, so I, it just, you know, it got me curious about it. I want to check it out. And, get Predator uh, too. and that's basically it. So, just a few new additions. That's going to be in a Fright Night Friday update whenever I get around to doing it. <laughs> Fantastic. And that is it. The movie is not terrible. Everyone saying that the Predator is terrible is just like, what the fuck did you want in that movie? Dude, there was a Predator. Dude, there were badass fighting the Predator. What did you want? I, the, the, all I the, don't the, know. The, people... Literally a cast of character actors playing characters that were awesome. I wanted all of them to be stars of their own fucking movie. Are you kidding me? Yeah. What the fuck, guys? I don't know what people... No. People no, look, like, like people this. seem to bitch and moan and complain, yet you say, what did you expect it to be? What did you want it to be? And they don't have an answer. 
And it's like, well, you more than that is there, that's the favorite. I'm like, that's not an answer. Why don't you need more than that? Okay, what specifically did you want they it wanted, to be? They wanted Batman to be in it. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, you guys uh, probably saw my my little gag video that I posted a few couple days ago. Um, the number one reason Avengers Endgame sucks. Major spoiler. Um, <laughs> What gets me? That was a, that was literally an idea that came to me while I was having a shower. I was like, "Oh, that would be so much fun to just do a trolley video like that." So I did, um, and you know, it's got a fair number of views. What gets me is how many people are taking it seriously. Like, it, it's unbelievable. Let me find some comments. I'm going to read you some of the comments I got on this thing. So basically, of course, it's a gag video where I'm saying, like, Avengers Endgame sucked because Batman wasn't in it. And that's the whole joke, is, like, me going on about Batman not being in Avengers Endgame. Which, of course, yeah, of course he isn't. He's DC. I, I, I'm aware of that. I know. That's that's kind of the joke. And I'm going on about how, oh, you know, there's no... Uh, you know, they've been teasing Batman and the Avengers with all the official toys for years, and I showed, like, all the derpiest-looking Chinese knockoff toys that I could find. Like, I don't know how much clearer the joke could be, but, um, sorry, I didn't... It's not like you did it entirely in a fucking sarcastic tone from the beginning. Like, from God. the entire thing. Yeah. Just, the, because the, just so I'm personally offended. Not everybody can read that. He then put bootleg photos. Yes. Or bootleg toy photos. It's obviously fake, people. Holy yeah, I shit. Know. I know. Oh my god. Sense of right, people. Seriously, fuck. <laughs> literal translation: What a Justice League is. The a sense of right was the sense of right squad. Is that what it was called? Yeah, it's literally called sense of right. Yeah. Which I is, can't wait for the sense of right movie. <laughs> you know, I mean, John Tron said it best about that one. You know, you got you got all of them there. You got Batman. You got oh, here Superman, we go. Here we go. Shrek. Okay. Car. Can, can I do things now, please? Thank you. Uh, LMAO. So thirsty. You're so thirsty. Dig your well. This is a new comment. I this is the first I've read it. You dig your well before you're thirsty, K. Clickbait what? garbage because not good enough to put out something real so as what? to capitalize on the end game trend. LMAO, so thirsty. You need to get them cheeseburgers somehow, I know, but maybe order a drink and you won't look so twisted and thirsty. You get my one click and that's it. Adblock gets you nothing else, so stop trying. Pay them Actually, bills. You're wrong. Uh, still play the Holy ad. fucking shit. Can I finish reading the comment? Then give your comments. Pay ah. pay them bills on the backs of ignorant folks. Great work, okay. you dummy. And I just said, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> also, you, you dummy, uh, Adblock plays the ad in the background. It, it That's the whole point of it. They, yeah. I, I still don't... got your click, so thanks. Yeah. Still got your ad Cha -ching! revenue. <laughs> <laughs> And yes, I, I actually said while I was making this video, I'm making this intentionally to be a clickbait troll video to generate views and get a little boost in ad rev before the end of the month. And guess what? Worked like a charm. And you're using the word thirsty in the wrong context. Yeah. If he was posting sexy photos of himself on Instagram, yeah, that's, then he'd be looking for thirsty clicks. Thirsty is okay. like hitting on chicks and being really bad at it. <laughs> well, Thirsty is just really into wanting that ass and all the time. Like, you really want to yes, fuck all the time. Exactly. I'm thirsty, to keep in perspective. I want to fuck all the time. Luckily, my girlfriend wants to fuck all the time, so it works out. But, you know, like, yeah, <laughs> I'm thirsty. I, I follow a lot of porn. There's a lot of porn in my life. So, yeah, so it was like... You know what's wrong. It was pretty clearly a joke, and yeah, it's it's very intentional clickbait to, you know, get... Get some views and some mad red. I mean, it's a joke. It's well, it's a fucking joke too. Like bottom it, line, it's not even a joke. It's it's not even clickbait. It's literally a joke. It's a yes. gag. Yes, it's a one note gag. It's hilarious. Here by we the way. go. I laugh. Yeah, which is I, why the I, videos. I, saw, like, I woke up and I'm like, "What the fuck is this shit?" And oh. I watched it and I'm just howling the whole. Oh yeah, because you weren't there when I made it. Yeah, no, you weren't here at the stream. Days, there was like so. 20 people here in the stream <coughs> while I was making the video, and like they were all just dying laughing. But, um, so here's a good one. Fuck this channel. Motherfucking <laughs> ugly 
fat cock sucking Batman's anus licking asshole? My response was, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm I'm my got a thesaurus. just get my one click. Also, your interaction. I got your interaction just now. And a comment. Thanks. Yeah, I had a comment. Yeah. Got your view, yeah. your click, your comment. I probably got your downvote. Yeah. Thank you. Probably uh, got your downvote, too. I love Thanks this one. This one is great. It says, fat adult males who still read oh, books with pictures in them and buy toys and tell antisocial jokes. What? Well, my response was, yes. What about them? You didn't. But, act, you didn't actually say anything. You just described a very specific demographic. It was just not make any sense. Point? Like none of those things are derogatory or demeaning, and we don't take those things as derogatory or demeaning. So you're not really insulting us. You're just describing us, and you're the only one laughing. And have fun with that, I guess. And then we have. Uh, <laughs> Uh, your DC fanboy is showing. I said, okay, mm guess this video doesn't exist. Then I sent him a link to my Marvel Blu-ray collection overview. <laughs> uh, You're enjoying this too much. And then was... F you can't enjoy something too much. And then it's uh, this. I like this one, which is... Fuck Batman, you fat fuck. So I responded with... Bah! <laughs> And he responded, he actually responded, I was surprised. So, I guess I win. Um, says, you're welcome, Sir Faticus Tiny McPeterus. Okay. I'm going to tell let the rest. Sean does not have a, Sean accidentally flashed his penis on a live stream. I've seen it. It's not not small at all. Why, thank you. Okay. Just, I didn't it, even need to know that. I mean, I, I wish I could forget it. it. Every day of my life, I wish I could forget it. Jesus. Second of all, Will you have to share with us the size of it? Thank you. I'm gonna, no, I'm just saying it's not small. So I'm not going to tell you it's big and giant and swings a bit, but I'm just saying <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your second interaction. Two interactions. Wealth. I'm rich. Thank you. You are rich with interaction. So, yeah, yeah. there's a lot, of, lot here that, uh, that clearly took it completely seriously. There's one in particular, one just pure gold one that I'm trying to find here. It was on, on the first day. Uh, YouTube's freaking comments load so goddamn slow now. I hate Ah, oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, I pinned those also. This one this is pure gold. Here we go. Let's take a breath. Okay. <gasps> You're an idiot hating the movie just because Batman didn't show up. This is Marvel, not DC. What is the size of your brain to make you think that Batman is in Endgame when he is in DCEU, not MCU? Are you even a comic nerd or a complete dumb idiot? If this is supposed to be an April Fool's joke, then I'm not laughing. I'm enraged. I'm enraged. Period. I pinned that one in our original cram chat. That was, that was all one massive run-on babbly sentence. That was so, beautiful. Yeah. That was a thing of I'm beautiful. insane with anger. <laughs> <laughs> but so there was so there's basically the comments broke down into three categories. There was people like that who took it way too seriously who apparently don't recognize the joke. There's people who were just leaving insults. So you're an idiot, you're fat, you're dumb, you're you're thirsty, apparently. Okay. <laughs> and then um, Yeah, you are thirsty. I mean So thirsty. Yeah. I should you're right. I should have a I'll sip of my coffee. Actually, I mean, you know, mm. he might be thirsty, but That's it doesn't better. matter. Not, you're not using the word in the right context. You're not using the word in the right context. Learn your yeah. terminology before you try to insult somebody with it. Um, and your memes. Like, give me a relevant insult. Like, I get what you're trying to say. Like, oh, you're so desperate for clicks. Blah, 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 blah. So, right. yes, I like when people watch my content. Okay? And, like, anyway... Uh, so yeah, so there was uh, basically people who didn't get the joke and thought I was being serious. There was people who, uh, I guess, either didn't get the joke or did get the joke, but either way decided to just leave an asshole-ish trolley comment. Um, not as many of those as I would have thought, actually. And the few that were were incredibly entertaining and hilarious. So a lot of those guys just clicked off. Like, I was a stupid. Like, so please keep them coming, comment. guys. I, they've given us all a good laugh. And uh, third was people who thought it was legitimate criticism of the movie and gave their thoughts on the movie. Sometimes with piles of spoilers, I deleted most of those comments so as not to spoil it for anybody else watching. I knew that was going to happen, by the way. I knew that was going to happen, too, but people had already spoiled most of the major stuff for me by that point. Anyway, 
So oh, that's why I had the spoiler protection 2.0 installed. I'm like, no, I don't want anything spoiled. No, yeah, I'll have to try that. Um, and then the fourth one was people who did get the joke, who liked the joke, and played along with the joke. There's a lot of comments like that saying, "I know, man, what the fuck? I was like, why didn't Batman kill Thanos? You know, and stuff like that." So it was it was great. So big thanks to everybody who enjoyed. And that's that. I considered posting a, a comment about, like, the ending of the movie. I, I haven't seen it. I've been spoiler-free because get, everything gets censored for me. <laughs> and little red boxes that just tell me the context. <laughs> so it just says Avengers or Endgame. <laughs> but uh, I would just be like, oh, add that part when SpongeBob came out and Ainley fisted Thanos with the... the <laughs> <laughs> that was um, bad. I was like, that's the kind of one I wanted to... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, there's a few like that. Like I thought the part where uh, Ant Man exploded Thanos' anus was really tastefully and thoughtfully done. <laughs> I love that. That's the for the longest time that was a theory going around that the only way to destroy Thanos was to just shove Ant Man up his ass. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I mean, and it's just like what, what is that? Any superior look. Like, most of your can be broken, and you think, you think about their powers. Ant-Man can shrink down to an atomic level, go inside your body, and then grow. You're yeah. dead. He can kill everybody. Yeah. Everybody in, the, in existence, he can literally just obliterate by expanding into a giant man for three seconds inside them. Like, yeah. That's it. He can just fucking assassinate people by going in their brains. Exactly. And, and going to the size of a quarter, and then shrinking. He can secretly assassinate people. Yes. You know, even just, like, and in just legitimate like, conversation... You know, yeah. like, oh, how are they going to take out that? Nope, Ant Man up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ant Man up his ass is definitely a very silly way of. But that's, that's, that's actually what they could have done, but not maybe up his anus. He could have eaten him. Carlotta you know. is trying to rain on my parade here. And, says, and then you inadvertently got Endgame spoiled. I wouldn't say inadvertently. I fully knew that was going to happen in the comments, and I didn't care. Okay. Comic book movies, I don't care about spoilers personally. Because. Oh, I when? Because I read comic books, and I know that when characters, Marvel especially, when characters die in a Marvel comic, okay, see you in a year, you know, it, like, it, it, death is rarely permanent in comics, and they will always find a way to bring them back if they want to, or if there's a buck to be made. So, I don't care. I'm not really worried about it. And if I did care, I wouldn't have done that video. So, Yeah. And then Carlton says, what if one of the ones you've read was trolling themselves? And then he researched a little further and said, one of the ones he read was from a troll account. <laughs> His nose in the air like that, being the note all that he is. So, I don't care. Good. If they, if they got me, they got me. Good job. Successful troll. I don't care. It's all part of the fun. It's part of the game. Play it. Play it or don't. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Whoa. I don't care. Like, I, never, I don't care about comic book movies. Yet someone throws a spoiler and he will throw, throw a fit the next comic movie. Someone spoils for him. No Watch. comic book movie spoilers. I don't care about. But uh, mm -hmm. other things where you know, like Star Wars. You know, I care a little bit more about because it's it's you know I don't know more special. Uh, We're game, almost about to put those in the censor thing too. Jeez. Game of Thrones. That's the one I care about. That's yeah. the only one I, I don't want to have spoiled. I censored everything with that. Which is why I've been making sure that uh, I watch each episode as it comes out. Like, I'm not waiting on that, and I'm avoiding social media until I watch it. Because Game of Thrones, yeah, death is pretty fucking permanent. You know, there's a couple of couple of exceptions, but they are the exception, not the rule. So I'm, I'm waiting it out with my, my censor. Not to mention the fact there's only four episodes left, and there's a lot of shit left to tie up. So I know in the next four episodes, there's going to be bodies everywhere. So mm -hmm. I'm just waiting to see the who bites it and who war. manages to actually survive <laughs> the hellstorm that's coming. So, yeah, I look forward to it. But, uh... <coughs> well, I predicted that everyone's going to die except for a select two who will be on a boat who traveled to the east. Yeah. The Night King, and, and then we're like, okay, now there's a sequel series coming. The Night King's got to come there next. <laughs> Listen, I don't think. Well, as, yeah. as the only one here who's seen it, I just have to say, the way that they wrap it up is perfect. 
You know how there are certain things that everybody knows about, about the game, outside the of the about the outside of the movie, right? That yeah. we've known for years now, right? Yeah. And they presented certain problems for the actual story of the movie, like how are they going to wrap this part up? How are they going to wrap that part up? Mm -hmm. They could have done it in a way that felt really cheap. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. so many movies, so when this kind of thing happens, they just like, well, we have to wrap this thing up nice and tight. And they end up making it like kind of cheesy or cheap or something like that. There was nothing cheap about anything. Everything in this movie felt like this is what it was leading to. This is what it's always been leading to. This was it, what it was always supposed to be. So mm -hmm. they wrapped everything up really nice. That's good. Very happy with it. Well, not according to a lot of the serious review and criticism comments I got on my joke video. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think the term convoluted mess, uh, lazy writing, uh, unsatisfying resolution, that those got bounced around quite a bit. Listen to me, listen to me here. There were at least <laughs> half a dozen moments in the film, half a dozen moments, where the entire crowd in the theater applauded. Nice. You're going to tell me it's a pile of crap. Yeah. Fuck you. So you're oh, going to tell me it's convoluted? Oh, Those and, people were confused, really? And one of the one of the best comments, which I don't even need to look up because I remember it, was, and what the hell? Captain Marvel's always been a guy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm, um, on, I'm on the other well, camera. Well, actually, like, Wait, um, Captain Marvel was once a guy? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Well, yeah. there's different people. To take on the mantle of Captain Marvel, the original <clears throat> Captain Marvel was was a guy, yes, and then there was Miss Marvel, who later took on the mantle of Captain Marvel. It's the current one again. It's and is the current one again. There's been a yeah. few other Captain Marvels. Monica Rambeau, one or my two, favorite. One of two or which was guys and uh, Monica Rambeau. Yeah, I love Monica Rambeau. She was. She well, was. There's only been one guy. He just came back from the dead. She was so. the first Captain Marvel I ever saw. Actually, it was Monica Rambeau. A woman mm -hmm. of color, might I add. Can you imagine how much the uh, the racist misogynists would be losing right. their shit if they had her as the Captain Marvel in the movies? Oh, like, <laughs> Monica Rambeau is in Captain Marvel. Spoiler, she's the child. Oh, okay. So she's the child of, the, of her friend. Oh, cool. So and so now think about it. When she comes back, guess who can take over the mantle so when she's older, sweet. when they don't have want Brie Larson, they want to mix it up. We're going to get Monica Rambeau. 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 Fucking A. At some point. In yes. some point, one of the phases. Yeah. Maybe not okay. next so phase. It might been, be phase three. You know, so the seed has four. been planted, basically. Yeah. So. Excellent. Because like the scroll seed was planted. We don't know when it's going to... Yes, our Colatin is like, or the Captain Marvel from the 40s, a.k.a. Shazam. That's right. Yep. Totally. Oh, yeah. All of part of the same... Lineage. Totally fucking Shazam it. <laughs> so yeah, Marvel died. It's Mar Dash Vel. Uh, died of cancer in the eighties, as we discussed. Yep. And uh, he's come back before, of course, because comic books. Because see, Big shocker. Because comic books, I mean, and this he is was why... dead for like twenty five years. To be fair, yeah. So he was dead for a good while before they brought him back. Yeah. Some characters stay dead for a while, but they always come back. But the thing is, Carol Danvers, who is the Captain Marvel they chose to go with for the movies, has had the mantle in one form or another. Longer than anybody else. Yep. She has literally been the longest running Captain Marvel. So yes, of course they're going with that one for I the movies. One. Of course. So mm -hmm. people are stupid. Anyway, read a fucking comic book, people. God damn it. Like, ugh. but the thing, the thing got me was that comment was like fucking SJW political BS. It's like no. They're just going with the Captain Marvel that has had the most screen time in the comics, for fuck's sake. Bullshit. Anyway. Wait, wasn't that be, wouldn't that be panel time or page panel time? time? Page or, time. Yeah, story time. Story, story time. time. So, wait, she was Captain Marvel the longest? Time. I was like, <laughs> she was yeah. Captain Marvel the longest? She's been Miss Marvel for like 20 years? Oh, she was Miss Marvel forever. So, like, Went you know, and then she was also Warbird with so the other long. thing. Yeah. But, um... Yeah. She hung out with the uh, with the X Men. She was Warbird, but that's right. Yeah, she, she went by a few other names as well. Okay, let's. We got a lot of news here. Let's go through the news real quick here. Uh trailers. 
We got uh, first trailer for the Gemini Man, which uh, I don't know anything about this. Good to me. Will Smith. Yes, I don't know anything about that. The, the trailer. Only redeeming, yeah, the you only will redeeming... take it. Sorry. Go ahead, Jeff. The only redeeming factor I can think of for this uh, trailer is that it honestly looks like it could be like a reboot, <laughs> reimagining, or sequel to another Will Smith movie that came out several years ago, the one with Gene Hackman. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, I, I was thinking think. it, it's like Maybe another take on Looper almost, but different. Well, kind I was of. just going to say, it, uh, Raptor hmm. describes it here as Will Smith tries to capture Will Smith. That sounds kind of like Looper, yeah. Right, but it's so. it's different. And actually, I really like the premise. Everyone was laughing about it. Like, what, what are you talking about? That sounds awesome. Yeah, it doesn't count yeah. the movie. It really I doesn't. I Quit like yourself. Quit hitting actually. yourself. <laughs> Uh, first trailer for the Velocipaster. I have not heard of this one, but okay. Guessing what? Uh, dinosaur. Wild Eye releasing yeah. getting some news, man. Okay. <laughs> uh, a shot on video crap fest. First trailer for Critters Attack, which I'm guessing is a sequel or reboot or something. For a sequel, critters. first sequel to Critter, Critter, Critters Four, and it's the first sequel in 27 years. Wow. I mean, I'm guessing that they're like, too, the I'm, separate. I'm, I'm <laughs> guessing the recent uh, Blu-ray collection sold well, so they uh, decided to do a new movie. Yep, um, I knew this one, apparently, I posted it after everybody else had already seen it two days prior. But whatever, I don't follow everything. Uh, official full trailer for Deadwood the movie, which uh, I know a lot of people are looking forward to, and I probably would be too because I still haven't seen the series, but I need to get on. Neither that. have I. It's one of those series that just kind of just walked right past me. Second trailer for Men in Black International, which I think looks fun. I want to see it. I still need to see Men in Black 3. Uh, apparently, we've got a second teaser for the Swamp Thing series, which I have not seen. I'll have to check that out. Because uh, I do like me some Swamp Thing, and I'm looking forward to that one. Let's see here. Oh, this sounds like fun. This is... Uh, Oh, yeah. No, sign me up for this one. Okay. Uh, says, Netflix has ordered a new adult animated mystery series titled Inside Job. The 20-episode series is described as a workplace comedy set in the shadow government, where every conspiracy theory from the Illuminati to reptoids is true. And one, oh, God, yes. and one woman struggles to keep the chaos under wraps. Oh, it will God. have Shion Taku... Takeuchi as showrunner and Alex Hirsch, creator of Gravity Falls, as executive producer. Like, fuck that, yes, sign me up for that. Is that the lady who did Orange is the New Black? I don't know. You have to look it up. It doesn't say. I'm going to. I, 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 dude, I, want, I, I would love that. I hope it's like The Office. But though. I'm, I'm, I'm sold just because like Alex office. Hirsch and it's all about conspiracies and such, which he poked a lot of fun at in Gravity Hall Falls. So. Um, yeah, I was, I was say that Gravity Falls is pretty much like a kid's version of every single... That's a different lady. Theory ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> this one I am also really looking forward to. Brand new Star Trek animated series has been greenlit in a joint effort by CBS Television Studios and Nickelodeon. Uh, the new CG animated series will follow a group of lawless teens who discover a derelict Starfleet ship and use it to search for adventure, meaning, and salvation. The series will be developed with the creators of Netflix's Troll Hunters and Ninjago, or Ninjago, sorry, uh, Masters of Spin Jitsu. Uh, very successful shows. Pretty cool. Um, I, a, a Star Trek show? It's a you new said? Star Trek show, yeah. Oh, nice. Sorry, I was sneezing nice. when you said that part. So. Yeah, new, um, first new Star Trek animated thing since the 70s series, though. That's actually yeah. pretty cool. I'm, I'm totally down for that. Ah, this is some That's bad cool premise too, I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, this was some bad news for a lot of people. Since shutting down the Fox two thousand label, Disney has also shut down multiple projects that were in development, those being Mouse Guard, which I know a lot of people were really looking forward to. Uh News of the World on the Come Up and Fruit Loops. No word yet if Disney plans to finish any of those films under their own label. So, the big one was Mouse Guard, which I loved dearly. A lot of people were really looking forward to Mouse Guard. I know. I think I, I remember like the best reading about Mouse it. Mouse Guard fantasy since Red Wall. Like, yeah, so good. yeah, sounded pretty good. Uh, Netflix has started to stream the extended cut of Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight. It has been broken up into four 50-minute episodes. 
which I think is interesting that they do it that way. Apparently, there's another one. That's well, actually a pretty cool way to do it. One of his other ones, he said he wants, he would like to have presented that way as well. Django. Which one was it? Yeah. Oh, Django. That's Django right. and Jane. Yeah. yeah, Django. He said he'd like to have it split up into episodes like that, sort of like a little mini series, I guess. But uh, yeah, I so that's watching that way. I'll have to check and see if Netflix Canada has that. I'd be very surprised if they didn't. But uh, that's something I would definitely be want, wanting to see. Um. Let's see. Okay, this sounds good. James Wan, director of Saw, Fury 7, Aquaman, etc., is set to produce a new adaptation of Stephen King's Salem Lot with Gary Dauberman, writer of Annabelle, Annabelle Creation, and in 2017's It, penning the script. So. Well, I I, I own Salem Lot, and I saw a fan of Salem Lot. Uh, I can't wait to see it be way more entertaining than the boring original Salem Lot, <laughs> which really doesn't pick up till like an hour and a half in. You literally the, just jump to yeah. the middle of the movie. You're good. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it is so definitely cool. slow-paced, I will agree. I like it. I like the old, mi- I like the old miniseries version. Yeah, I, I bought it. You know? I, I like it, but it is definitely a slow burn and definitely has the pacing of the day in which it was made. Um, a slog. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a slog, but uh, I enjoy it just for all the little character stuff, but you're right. The actual horror of it and stuff doesn't really begin until quite quite a bit into I the movie. I think it'll do a lot better than the newer series with modern sensibilities, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, honestly. for sure. For sure. Plus, they changed a bunch in the original. Maybe they'll be a little more faithful in this one, you know? Um, this one sounds pretty good. Uh, I want to do like a summer or a month of, of Bond at some point because, uh, I've, well, I've got them all and I think it would be a fun sort of month of reviews to do. Uh, Bond 25, a title has yet to be released, has started filming in Jamaica. Daniel Craig is returning for his fifth and presumably last, hasn't he said it's the last one, like for the past three movies, uh, take on the character? Yeah. With, I was gonna say I think he said that Spectre was gonna be his last role, but anyway. Okay. Uh, with Apparently. Rami Malek from Bohemian Rhapsody and Mr. Robot, and of course Until Dawn, uh, rumored to be the villain, which would be pretty cool to see him take a turn as a villain. I really, uh, I'm, that guy can act. I'm becoming a huge fan of Rami Malek. I have to say, I really want to see Bohemian Rhapsody. He blew me away in Mr. Robot, um, and. I thought he was great at Until Dawn. Actually, it was Until Dawn that made me want to check out his other work. And um, fast becoming a huge fan of his. Um, the, synop- the synopsis is as follows. The film finds Bond retired from active service in uh, from MI6 in Jamaica, where his old CIA friend Felix Leiter draws him back into action after a scientist is kidnapped and a new villain with a deadly new technology surfaces. So there you go. Oh. I like the idea of an older Bond. Ah, this one is yeah. this one is pretty cool. To celebrate the 40th anniversary of Alien, a lot of stuff happening. We got uh, some more of the short films, I think, as well, uh, released uh, just this week. Um, to celebrate, or we got the latest one anyway. I'm not sure if they released all six yet, but uh, anyway, another thing to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Alien, Audible will be producing an audio drama of the William Gibson script, the unused script that William Gibson wrote for Alien 3, with Michael Bean reprising his role as Corporal Dwayne Hicks. So this is what the sequel to Aliens might have been. So, yeah. very cool. This adaptation will be available for purchase on May 30th. So very Rumor cool. was that the script they started with when they were doing the new Neil Blomkamp one that was aborted yes, two years ago. That's right. We yes. all missed so this is pretty cool. We all heard about uh, the North Bergen High School uh, play of Alien that they did, uh, and it was making all these waves. And there was like the you know Sigourney Weaver sent them a nice video message. Well, they decided to do an encore performance because it was such a huge hit, and Ripley herself, Sigourney Weaver, came to the performance to do a nice little intro uh, and give her blessing. For the show and this time they actually recorded it they recorded the whole thing and they posted it online so you can actually see the entire play online i'll include That's a link awesome. i'll and include a link like, in the description i've so. watched about a half an hour of it yes. and it is amazing it's surprising oh. for where you're watching it and you're amazed that these are you know, high school students. Yeah, they put lots of effort. Like, the sets are really good. The costumes, the sets are good, like, good, and the performances. I, I was particularly impressed by the actress playing uh, Lambert, 
I think she yeah. really nails the kind of like the energy and such that uh, the original yeah. uh, what's her face Veronica Cartwright had. Yeah. Moments are pretty good. Definitely yeah. worth a watch if you. If you I watched have. a little bit of it too. Yeah. I was like, ooh, that's cool. I, I watched I about the first around. twenty minutes of it. I'm gonna watch the rest later, but uh, uh, but yeah, so check it out. I'll include the link in the description, and you can uh, watch it um, whenever you like. Uh, hopefully, Fox aren't dicks and don't take it down because it does use yeah. the music for the movie. Charge anything. But um, yeah. That's Fox. I just take ad revenue and call it a day. Yeah, if they try, they got the wrath of Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and speaking of don't be a dick and spoil things, a man was beaten up outside of a movie theater in Hong Kong. Apparently, as he uh, left the theater after having just seen Avengers Endgame, he blurted out spoilers for the movie within earshot of people who were waiting in line to get in to see it. And then... Said people took it upon themselves to beat the living shit out of him. I believe my response to that was, uh, with David Cameron going, ah! yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Those it, people were doing God's work. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Netflix canceled Santa Clarita Diet. That was, uh, that was another thing. Netflix big. canceled the Santa Clarita Diet. Yeah, so after yeah. three seasons. I've not seen it. I've heard it's really good. Um, but, it's, um... And I have not seen like it. it explains why they're canceling it, by the way. It's doing well. It was doing well, but not well enough. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that. Like, I don't know. I've seen people freaking out like, what are they going to cancel next? Are they going to cancel Stranger Things? Are they going to cancel everything good on there? Oh, my God. Yeah, Stranger Things is going to end. Damn they already have it. Yeah. They said they already had an ending. They had like a five-season plan. For Stranger Things? Yeah, with this cast, so yeah. that doesn't mean they're not going to continue the show. But this cast is yeah. one hundred percent. Oh, that makes done. sense. No, five years is a good, you know, good run. Yeah, that's um, the plan. Four seasons, yeah. five years, or maybe so. it's four seasons. It might be four seasons. So, yeah. in in related uh, notes, uh, the, of course, the twenty second se- installment of the Marvel Cinematic Universe Avengers Endgame hit theaters this week. And Raptors note: Doctor Strange saw Endgame fourteen million six hundred five times and barely said a word. You can too. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Nice one. I think it was great. Uh, he didn't Doctor spoil Strange is too overpowered. Uh huh. Gosh. And finally, video game news: Mortal Kombat 11 and Days Gone, which is an open open world survival horror, both dropped this week. So there you go. Yes, they did. I mean, they actually on your list, Sean, for that's... the first time since uh, uh, Days Gone should be on your list. Oh yeah, yeah, it could be. Cool. Yeah, right. um, since uh, DC uh, Mortal Kombat versus DC, mm-hmm. they did a while back. This is the uh, only the second time where we've had this deeply written of a story in a Mortal Kombat title. Really? Mm-hmm. So because the whole idea behind this one is a new old generation crossover where we have older and younger versions of all the characters meeting up with each other. Crisis and and... Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> I've watched one of the mode. It looks really good, actually. There's there's hilarious scenes of, like, older military Johnny Cage grabbing young, cocky Johnny Cage by the ear and dragging him all around. <laughs> at Yui, Yui, another streamer, was playing it, like, on hard mode. <laughs> earlier, like, the last couple of days, and I've been watching on and off. It's uh, pretty cool. And... It looks cool. Sorry, Strong said I just saw your question earlier. Who did Rami Malek play in J- Until Dawn? He played Josh. He mm-hmm. was the, uh, the their host, basically. The one whose sisters yeah. had, uh, had died. Ross has a game changer. Yeah. Huh? Ross oh, um, has MKA11 as a game changer. I'm, wanna, I'm curious. Actually, I'm not, I'm not on the discovered, up interesting. discovered this one the other day. Um, uh, the arcade one-up cabinets the new line has started showing up randomly at walmart's cool uh, even though it's, it doesn't it's not supposed to be out until uh the beginning of may oh walmart never gives a shit about release date they'll just put so there's a few people out there who already have videos you know showing off the uh the one that i the next one i want to get which is the final fight cabinet mm-hmm. and the mortal Kombat cabinet okay nice um and they do look pretty good Mm-hmm. They because it's the the final fight one. Yeah, it has final fight um, nineteen forty four Strider and Ghost and Goblins. Well, that's probably the one I want. Oh, <laughs> yes. And, Sorry, go ahead. 
I was going to say in the Street Fighter one, oh, Street Fighter, but the uh, Mortal Kombat one has Mortal Kombat one, two, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat three. Nice. Um, thanks for the reminder, Major Matoko. Those of you who missed out on Sony's season releases a few years back, and uh, some of which go for collector's prices nowadays, might appreciate this. Mill Creek is releasing Forever Night, the complete oh, yeah. collection on DVD. Oh. So now you'll finally and... be able to get it. Yeah, I know which one you're going to say. And Skinslip would like to tell you about another Mill Creek release coming up. They're releasing this steelbook of Mothra. <laughs> I mean, come on. I pre-ordered it already, of course. Steelbook Blu-ray, and it looks gorgeous. Yeah. And the bu- and there's some and the printings on the tech uh, and, and some of the characters are on the slip box that comes off the slip. Oh, like, that's uh, right. It's like a clear plastic slip box with some of the yeah. They do flat flatliner, so it's not the first time they've done this. They've oh, done okay. Steelbooks for a little bit while a little while now. They also announced the next two Andy Sedaris films, Picasso Trigger and I can't remember the other one, but two more of those Babes Guns and G Strings movies or whatever that we got oh yeah love those movies so much fun Boom. um yeah patrick i i don't really watch simpsons on television i watch the dvds of the season sets and the last season set i watched in full was season 13 so i haven't seen anything uh, and then just some random episodes here i saw the family guy crossover episode obviously because everybody saw that everyone everyone saw that i think but, um but that's pretty much it i really haven't seen anything much beyond that um i haven't even finished watching the season sets that i have so also the jack and chain adventures volume one the dark whatever saga oh yeah is out also oh that's right and did we are i think i can't remember if we if this was last week or this week but i'll say it again anyway apparently there's going to be a new jackie chan adventures and a jackie chan adventures animated movie I think we talked about last week, but yeah. possibly. I just want to make sure that gets We're up talking there again. because yeah, it looks yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I, I can't. I'm, I'm glad, I love Return of that. You know, yeah. I I will openly admit, um, when it first came out, I wasn't the biggest fan of Jackie Chan Adventures. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I didn't hate it. Like I didn't. I was like, oh my god, this is terrible. I was just like, the show isn't really my thing. Um, but yeah, I would love to give it another try with a newer series and love to check out the movie yeah you i was know. the same way I, I really introduced myself to it a couple of years later i'm like well this is actually a really good show yeah it's been the same people who did like the godzilla series okay. and uh yeah stream ghostbusters and like it's that got that similar animation style like, yeah like 90 yeah. it came out around the time did we ever get a yeah. complete series set uh for uh men in black the animated series nope no. season one i think that's what we have uh, we got season one as some kind of limited retailer exclusive thing. It got a wide release in the UK, uh, the, just season one again. I, I have the UK release, but um, we never got seasons two or three. Blu-ray. We need, well, at the very least, we need like a DVD set. Like, just give us the complete like a series. Creek, 39 please. episodes, give us all the episodes, let's go. 39 yeah. episodes, boom, done. Uh, yeah, and actually, Worm Disease, same with, uh, I'm the same way with Family Guy. I actually only watch it on DVD. I don't watch it as it airs. Um, I'm all up to date as far as buying the DVDs, minus the latest one, the season 16 set that just came out. I need to get that. Uh, as for which one I last watched, I'm not 100% sure. But I know there's several seasons that I have that I still haven't watched. So... I tend to just, when I get in the mood, I'll sit down and I'll binge like two or three sets of Family Guy. That's kind of how I am with it. And then I'll, you know, not watch it for five years, you know. And then I'll sit down, I'll binge it again. And and the same thing with Simpsons. I'll just, you know, once in a while I'll binge a pile of episodes. I have not bought a Family Guy set in a long time. (laughs) I don't even... I don't 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 have... I think I only have like up to the 100th episode like i don't have any of the newer sets you have the earlier ones i know because i have i I have seasons like one through six yeah and that's about it and then i have all the the uh, adaption movies and that's it i had seasons one two and six of of simpsons before i moved but it it was in that box that never made it here so i know as big of a family guy fan as i am it's surprising that i don't have anything i know i I, 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 I really have not 
I will openly admit I have not watched a single episode of Family Guy going on easily four or five years at this point. Yeah, but you just remember that those those ones you watch over and over again. Well, like the few, older ones because yeah, you used to, there yeah. wasn't as many episodes. First you five seasons, you just more. got them that. Bad. But yeah, probably yeah. what I'm gonna do. Like I remember I skipped over because I didn't have volume ten. This before they started numbering them by season, they were numbered by volumes. I didn't have volume ten for the longest time, and then finally I just got the ones that I. I had been missing. I had been holding out, waiting to find them with the slip cover, and finally just like, you know what, fuck it. I just want to have the seasons in my collection and be done with it. So I just forewent getting the slip covers and got the ones that I needed for the fills and got up to date, and then I just haven't got around to sitting down and watching them. That's That was what it was like me with Super Friends. I'm like, I want all the ones with the slip. I mean, fuck it. Just get them all already. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> it's one of those, it's one of those yeah. things where the only reason I know almost to a T like the first five seasons of that show, like every single fucking episode mm -hmm. is because when I first started watching family guy back when adult swim picked it up and started showing it mm -hmm. late at night, uncensored. Yeah. Um, is they only had a contract for the first four or five seasons. Oh, so they just right. Right. So them they, over and over and they over. just looped it, looped yeah. it for years. Yeah. And I mean, it wasn't until they late went night and they like four episodes in a row or some shit too. Oh yeah. Yeah. And every night they'd show like at least two every yeah. night. Yeah. So seven days a week, two episodes a night yeah. you know for like easily six seven years yeah it was <laughs> the know? same kind of the same with me like i got the dvd sets well actually Cass gave them to me as a as a gift of the, the original like three seasons or whatever it was and i watched those over and over again plus we were watching the repeats on tv uh, whenever they were on and then i would get the other dvd sets we watched those repeats as well so yeah it's it just that we were just exposed to those episodes a lot more so just kind yeah, of it's just like in more. So I remember the most because those ones my roommates watched in college the most, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so, and it's just. But I love it. I mean, I, I, like, I mean, whenever I do finally sit down and watch a season, like, oh yeah, why haven't I watched this in so long? I love this show. I love these characters. But you know, I laugh my ass off for twenty episodes, and then you know, I'm done. And then I've tried to watch gone for a few years. You know, back know, yeah. The the new episodes, and I like the concepts and ideas. I just. For me, I'm one of those as someone who watched it from season one. Mm -hmm. It kind of doesn't have that Family Guy feeling anymore. Well, also, like, I mean, bear in mind, it's the same thing with The Simpsons. I mean, when a show has been going for so long, especially a show that, like, parodies things and tries to be kind of topical and, and, and whatnot, they necessarily have to change with the times. Right. Like, you know, so it's not going to be the same as it was. It can't be. If it was, I, I think it, it also survive. has to, a lot to do with uh, <clears throat> Seth MacFarlane himself. Yeah. You know, slight, back, slight like, that back in the early seasons, you know, the first, you know, say, five or six seasons of Family Guy, that was pretty much Seth MacFarlane as yeah. a whole, yeah. you know, what he was doing. Now he's become much more of a famous actor and a famous person he's where he's, bran he's, he's branching off and doing way more things like the Orville, for example. Yeah, the whole other and, TV series. I mean, yeah, a whole other yeah. TV series. He's, he's doing movies. He's doing all this stuff. Yeah. He doesn't have he doesn't have it completely in Family Guy anymore. And yeah. it definitely shows. Yeah. There's a lot more. There, there's topical humor in it. And there's like pop culture humor. But it's from recent generations. And I, I just don't have that connection. Yeah, I, I don't get the references. I don't understand why it's so funny. Something like yeah, that. That's, that's what made the, the references. Shit, I don't. I don't know what that reference I'm is. I'm too like, old what? to understand your references. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, it's, yeah, I've and, it's like, shows, it's, and, it's, right? and that's what was great for me about the first six seasons or so. Yeah. is that he was making references to stuff from like the '60s, '70s, and '80s. Yeah, yeah. And now true. it's a lot of stuff from like. You know the early two thousands like and stuff like that. I'm yeah. just like it became a juggernaut. They made a fucking American Dad and the Cleveland Show. Didn't they do another series? I'm probably forgetting one or two. Yeah, there were so many American shows. Dad, Cleveland Show. There had to be like uh, one more. Yeah, there's one other Those one. Those are the big ones. There was like <laughs> Seth Seth MacFarlane's Cavalcade of Comedy, which was a web series. Yeah, which yeah, honestly I mean, wasn't as funny. I didn't think it, they they just did a few of them. No, it just felt but, like it was something that he, he could use to shoehorn to fill in spots on the DVD sets. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I think some of them are yeah. on the DVD sets actually, just as extras. But um, and they did, yeah, they, they actually did a compilation, I think, of all of them as well. But the only one I thought was funny out of that was the guy arguing uh, on the side of the road because he wanted to throw a rock and he had an entirely glass house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. It's like, I will come back here with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yeah, there was a couple of good ones, but I, know, I remember overall it just didn't quite grab me as much as the shows. I really liked American Dad. I, I actually kept meaning to get the right. Yeah, that, that one had that. its... There were definitely moments. Yeah. Like, the one I still... The one moment of that show I still love is when he's faking the apocalypse. <laughs> okay. And he's because he wants to prove to his family that he's, you know, the man of the family. He could do everything for him. Yeah. And so they're all sitting out in the woods and he nails a piece of wood to a tree. Uh huh. And he's like, he's like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm building a shelf. He goes, but we don't have anything. And he goes, a <laughs> shelf we don't even need. Lavish. <laughs> <laughs> and this is like, that's like the one thing that's always stuck with me. I'm like, that's funny. Yeah. That is genuinely funny. But yeah. Other than that, the show is kind of hit and miss for me. Roth yeah. keeps spamming Bob's Burgers. I've seen like two episodes, three or four episodes maybe. Yeah, that's not Bob's a Burgers is amazing, and y'all need to watch it. It is an amazing I've show, but it's, it's not really a Seth MacFarlane yeah. production. No, I think he just wants us to true. talk about it. That's true. Okay. We're, talking so, about, hey. we're talking about shows yeah. that Seth MacFarlane right. produced. Yeah. yeah. We, we this is the Seth MacFarlane hour. conversation. Back to the Seth MacFarlane. Okay. Yeah. So. Good show. American Dad is still going. <laughs> um, yeah, I've heard that Bob's Burgers, the not Seth MacFarlane show, is really good, even though <laughs> Seth MacFarlane Bob had Ross. nothing to do it yeah. with it. You just said you had to see Bob's Burgers. <laughs> <laughs> the Ted you need to understand great. something. If you keep harping on about this, oh, yeah, Sean Ted. will never watch it. So just shut up. <laughs> just shut up right now. Yeah, the, the Ted movies are great. I need to like, see the second the Ted Wars. movie. I, I love the first one. Last- Everyone crack on that? What's wrong with you people? It was hilarious. Which one? Uh, well, who cracked on what? The, the what? A million, a million ways to die in the West. I wrote oh, bomb. Remember? Right. I have the I Blu-ray of that. I still haven't Blu-ray watched it. So oh, funny. I guess I know what we're watching on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am down. If we're gonna do a group viewing. I am down for watching. I fucking love that movie. <laughs> every, uh, every Monday, me and Sean do a live stream viewing. Yes. If you're around, you're welcome to join us. We just, yeah. we just watched uh, a bunch I mean, of old like, Batman I mean, cartoons. How can you go wrong? Uh, prior to that, with... we watched some Harryhausen films. Um, great stuff. I was say, how could you go wrong with a movie that has miners that have to eat so much hot sauce they die when they fart? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and just, I love it. Spoilers. Yeah. Spoilers. <laughs> I don't apparently own a million ways to die in the West. Fuck. What? I will, oh, I will okay. go out on Monday and just purposely buy that movie just so we can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I mean, I got to find the extended actually, version probably, with I'm even fun. more jokes. So, it's hilarious. Yeah. I love it. God, it's so yeah. funny. <laughs> well, wait till I, I, I think what makes it, it extra hilarious <laughs> is just, you know, they made Seth MacFarlane purposely made the character so hyper aware that he is, you know, in a shitty situation in the West uh-huh. in this time period that his mind is so advanced in the future. <laughs> okay, so it won't be this Monday because no. I don't have it yet, no. but I'll definitely get it. I right. don't realize that I owned it already. Cool. I've been passing for Black Friday thinking I already owned the damn thing. Well, that's okay. We had, uh, we were going to do some scary movies this Monday anyway, so we'll do that. Or hey, which ones do you have in mind? Scary, scary movies. movies. Well, we were going to watch uh, Society, uh, possibly the Krug cut, or Krug and Company cut of Last House on the Left, and Lucio Fulci's The Beyond. Ooh. I think The Beyond is the one that's on deck. We don't know if we'll watch that one because we've both seen that one, and uh, we don't know if we'll be up. I don't know if I'll be up to watch all three movies. I'll like, be, as yeah. a group. He'll probably yeah. do it afterwards if I don't, so. Yeah. But I will definitely be watching the first two for sure because I haven't. I, I'd like to watch the Krug cut, honestly. I haven't seen the Krug and Company cut. Ooh, I've I only seen gotta see this man's face when the shunting happens. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Well, I I've seen Last House on the Left. Like I know. Right, right, what but happens, that's not but the shunting. No, that's just society, sir. Oh, oh, society. Okay, society, sure. Yes, yeah. Worm disease. You're gonna have to check for me. Is is the movie Society on Prime? I believe it is. Is it? Yep. Really? Oh, they're on Prime. Cool. Sweet. Yeah, no, I've been wanting to check it out because it just sounds like a batshit insane movie and apparently has really good practical effects. So oh, You know what? I think it's actually on Shudder right now. Oh, no. Oh, shit. It's on Prime. I just saw Prime Video. Where wow, the hell Society's go? on Prime. Sweet. Yeah, so it's anybody, Prime membership. So, yeah, you can watch it. Prime, uh, if you want to awesome. join us on Monday, feel free. Sure. <laughs> yeah, because I'm off Monday and Tuesday. Right on. 
The so. Arrow edition? Well, I know the special edition. I don't know about the regular edition. You might There's still... no other cut of the movie, so don't worry about that. It's going to have the uncut regardless. Yeah. So. But I think Same with streaming. I, I think you can okay. still get the regular edition of Society, the Arrow edition. There's a regular Arrow edition that you can get for 22 bucks. It's on Amazon right now. Yeah, there you so, go. See, the I'm limited sure. edition, uh, you some some people are selling it for as little as like 40 bucks. but That's actually a really good price for that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the wrong limited edition. It's a steel book. Oh, mm. never mind. <laughs> Where is the other limited edition? Yeah. The other limited edition is sixty-eight bucks. That's not oh, bad, though. That's still pretty good. I mean, that's probably yeah. pretty close to what we paid for it new. Like, I, I, I didn't pay that much new, but no. there is. I, I want to shout out a, a YouTuber that I've been watching the last like week or so. Okay. And I mentioned him in the chat earlier. You read off who it was. Um, his name is Civi Eleven. Okay. And, uh, yeah, he does uh, playthroughs. He does a series called Pro Series, okay. where it's just games he's really, really good at. Mm -hmm. And they're always games like Blood or Shadow Warrior or Duke Nukem or Doom nice. or something like that. And he, he kind of gives his com like quick commentary on each, era, each level of each uh, section of the game. So you can watch his video and get, like, all the stages of the game. But it's, like, his hilarious, like, almost mystery science theater kind of commentary on the game and how it's designed and you know on what you need to do he shows you where some of the secrets are and he's so fun to watch because he's so fucking funny and his longest running series is on postal 2 because he does he does all the days of the week and then he does all the expansions so he does apocalypse weekend so he does a week on apocalypse weekend and uh <laughs> And all this stuff, and it's just, he's a lot of, so if, I'll post in the uh, uh, Twitch chat here a link to his channel. Mm -hmm. If you have, if you've ever been interested in old 90s and 80s style first person shooters, like Doom or Quake or anything like that, or Shadow Warrior, you definitely want to watch this guy. And it's just, he's fucking hilarious. Oh yeah, and he also talks about he did a pro series on uh, the new game Dusk. We've been talking about in the video game section on the Discord, which is a 2016 release game that looks like the old mix of like Doom and Quake with a little bit of like Redneck Rampage. Cool, cool. Yeah, All right. Fun. So yeah, I'll post in the. So like, there's like a th there's like a mystery science theater kind of theme to his channel too, where he's like a guy locked up in a in an underground. <laughs> oh, okay. And like like, oh, like, 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 like all these games. Yeah, like he's a prisoner, and there's like these robots that are holding him captive, and he does this against his will. Yeah. And it's like, it's pretty funny. Now, just to specify, worm disease, we're gonna be watching the Krug and Company cut, which is uh, like the earlier. I think it's the earlier screening cut that they showed that was later changed and trimmed and turned into last available on the that. limited edition yeah. only available on the limited edition i repeat yeah the bonus is only available in the limited edition yeah so that's uh that's one that you you're yeah. only available in limited edition so it is the 1972 version but it's the or it's an earlier cut of it that is not quite the same as the theatrical version so i've been curious about it to see what I mean, it might just been a while since I've seen the theatrical version. I might end up just watching both cuts. Where are you, okay? Compare, but sure, uh, where are you? Um, oh, there you are. Yeah. Gosh, you're meowing from somewhere. Like, where is she? Where? Yeah, is she? there's the unrated. Oh, you're talking about. Sorry, you're talking about society. We're getting all mixed up here. Yeah, and then sorry, uh, yeah. and then there's the the beyond, which, as far as I know, there's only one cut of that. Uh, I don't know about the, the about the UK. I cannot say for sure if you guys have the uncut version. But here in the states, we only have the uncut version yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> but for the longest time on VHS, it was the the uh, Beyond the Doors of Death, or was it the, all the well, the recent, hell or something? All the recent releases should be the uncut. Yeah. The like last the decade has been decade. uncut. On yeah. Home video. Yeah. But I don't know about the UK, so I don't know what you guys do with censorship over there anymore. I, yeah. Sometimes some things get cut, sometimes they, sometimes they don't. I don't think they're quite as nuts as they used to be. <laughs> the one thing I know for sure they cut is any <coughs> animal cruelty that's on screen, real cruelty. Oh yeah. So like the, a lot of times the cannibal films will just be the what they call the vegetarian cuts, <laughs> where they don't show any of the real animal deaths. Okay. All like cannibal holocaust yeah. and all those. What yeah. most of the U.S. releases, you just click next and it just skips the. 
next scene. Like I'm, I don't need to see the turtle get cut into pieces again. I'm good. Yeah. Thanks, Cannibal Hall. I love the movie. You just don't want to watch the animal death. So I just click next when they come up. No. Yeah. It just goes, boop, right, to, right. Just literally, it's its own chapter stop. So you can just skip right past it. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. They do that. Yeah. Uh, last house. Oh, for last house on the left. Okay. Loved it. One of my favorite creative films next to the original. Yeah. Um. Still disturbing and fucked up. So many years. Yeah, I agree. It's um. Um, and I'm probably going to say this in my video about it. I mean, this, there was a lot of... It was kind of one of the films that sort of kicked off that kind of uh, exploitation slash revenge film genre. Um, but, while well, a lot of films from that genre are kind of like, you know, cheesy and, you know, whatever and don't really, you know, phase you at all. Last House is different because it is genuinely disturbing and genuinely gets okay. under your skin and huh what hello oh i'm sorry I, i'm i'm reading before i start reading out loud sorry oh okay. uh -huh. um yeah anyway so it's it's like one of those ones that's genuinely disturbing and it's easy to see why um other filmmakers want to just kind of cash in on that genre but we're not quite able to capture the same impact okay so wait the entire total difference between krug and company and left in house uh, last house on the left is 48 seconds wow but there's four 18 different cuts they use alternate takes and different things like that so it's gonna be interesting like yeah. Wonder what they changed. Because I believe this year. So the production company became really creative for the release of Last House on the Left. The movie was shown in theaters with lots of different titles. Sex, Crime of the Century, Night of Vengeance, Krug and Company, Last House on the Left. Yeah. The company wanted to test which of these titles is most accepted by the audience. <laughs> the most successful one was Last House on the Left. Yeah. That's why most of the DVD releases have that. This Krug and Company cut uh is based blah, 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 blah. in addition to the, in, in addition to the order change of some scenes this version also contains lots of cuts made for censorship so this is gonna be a cut version technically oh really because there was cut it was originally used to get then get the bbc bb bbfc 18 rating oh originally that's interesting so we're watching a cut version of a movie i've seen a few times so, so i'm fine with that a, oh, okay oh <clears throat> I thought it was going to be more uncut. On such an it's, it's apparently there are different. There's different footage, yeah, but so total runtime is only forty eight seconds different. Alternate takes. I assume, yeah. BBFC, not BBC. Yeah, I fucked up. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> not see. Oh, you've not seen the Beyond. Okay. Fucking nuts, man! Please, if you have the ability to imbibe any kind of narcotics that are safe well, for you to imbibe that will alter your perspective possibly what we could do then since the last house cut is so ridiculously inaccessible is uh you and i could watch that like whatever like off stream okay and then uh maybe on monday we could just do a double bill of uh of society and the beyond since everybody has access to those I mean, I don't care. We can do a live stream of Krug, but maybe it should be the third movie. Yeah, maybe know. we could do that. Maybe do that as the third one, just so those who like want a bonus Patreon only thing. <laughs> yeah. So the, well, so those who want to join in for the ones that are accessible can, and they don't have to wait and wait and wait for us to get past the one they can't get. Right. That's know? that's a good point. Exactly. Yeah. yeah let's put it at the end. Yeah. That way, and that way, we can put it off another day if I'm not feeling up to it because I might still be sick. I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That way, it's the flexible. That's a really okay. good idea. Yeah, there we go. I like so that. We'll, so we'll, so start, we'll do society and beyond. So we'll start That's with awesome. society because I know that you've been dying. That is one to bonkers watch. double bill. You've Holy been dying, shit! Dying to watch me watch that. <laughs> That's gonna be so crazy. And then we'll watch the Beyond, which is Lucio Fulci's batshit insane movies. <laughs> They're crazy in completely different ways, like wildly different ways. It's gonna be awesome. Can't wait. Just. God damn, it's going to be a crazy whiplash. Our minds will be <laughs> blown. Um, but I'm no, looking forward to the Beyond. I have not watched... I have the uh, Grindhouse releasing Blu-ray. I have not watched it yet, and I have not... I don't remember a jack shit about the movie. I haven't seen it in so long. But uh, uh, I think I logged my last few in other boxes here. The Beyond. I would know for a fact it was after I bought the Blu-ray. I, I saw it on Blu-ray. This Grindhouse releasing was my first time seeing it ever. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. 
I was like waiting for a good Blu-ray, and there was no good Blu-ray. The Arrow Blu-ray was okay, but it was it was an early blue Arrow, and they were not very good. I have the I logged this twice. I have the Arrow DVD, so the PAL DVD. I watched this in 2015 for the first time. Okay, it's so like four years ago. And then two years ago, two years ago, four, four years ago. I, yeah, and then two years ago I watched it again. So it's about time every two years. That's all right. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. It's time for the Beyond again. I like it. And yeah. Oh I, my God! I watched them in June both times. We're like so close to June. That's hilarious. Um, unintentional. Suspiria was my introduction to Italian horror as well. Uh, it was oh, my yeah. gateway drug into Italian horror. <laughs> Opera was mine, as Opera it was, was for mine. a lot of people. I think it was pretty pretty widely released. Um, yeah, Opera I didn't see until later. Basically, well, you guys probably remember like back like ten years ago, I was collecting all the Anchor Bay releases mm -hmm. of the Argento oh. films, and I had pretty much a complete set of them too. And I ended up selling them all because I wanted to get money. the Blu-ray <laughs> editions, and I needed money. Um, I did keep my collector's editions of Suspiria and Opera, though, because they were just such beautiful collector's editions. So had those, and those were the first ones yeah. I bought. I, 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 didn't, I was deciding which one I wanted to watch first. I was like, I'll watch Opera first. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I should have watched Suspiria first. But, yeah. those. Well, opera is great. I love Opera. Um, mm -hmm. I've watched that one a few times. Um, I, I love the fact that it's, it's not about the killer wanting to necessarily kill the main character, the main, the female main character, but rather to t mentally torment her by forcing her to watch as he kills people that she knows or cares about. And he I does this the repeatedly throughout the film. He forces her mm -hmm. to watch these horrible murders of people that that he's that she knows. So, like, he doesn't just want to kill her; he wants to like, like, mentally scar her. And right. That's what he makes, wants to abuse her. That's what first. makes it so interesting to me. Is it's 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 a very different kind of serial killer movie. It's a giallo film, but different. It is a giallo really? film. It's like the old, you know, you'll never guess who the murderer is until the last five minutes of the movie. But uh, but it's fun. I like that. Um, oh, Phenomenal is really good. Deep Red is really good. Uh, I would say uh, Tenebrae. Effective. I would say if if you have not seen a single Argento film, I would actually recommend Ten Tenebrae be your first. Tenebrae, Tenebrae I love. Is fucking so good. I love Tenebrae. I would say Phenomena should be the one you watch last because it's the one that okay. requires a bit more. It requires a bit more stretching. Yeah. You know. I think. Well, but I yeah. think Tenebrae is is a nice accessible one. Um, it's a fairly straight up giallo murder mystery, but it has a, a couple of good twists in it that I really enjoy, and I just love the you know the cinematography and everything. It's a really oh, really well made movie. Dude. That razor blade scene with the wall, the whoosh. Oh. <laughs> yes, and oh, uh, so what else? Crazy. The and then Suspiria. Suspiria is a lot of fun too because there you get into some just mind-blowingly good cinematography. Thank you, Vittorio Storaro, and your your amazing color wheel. Uh, philosophy. It's just as easy. It's also his most easily accessible film, Tenebrae. It's also. You know? Yeah, well, Tenebrae, I think, and I think Suspiria is pretty easily accessible too. But it gets more into the supernatural horror, whereas uh, Tenebrae is a little more earthbound. But mm -hmm. um, uh, there are stuff like it, the thing I like about Suspiria is there's stuff in it that if you think about it, it doesn't make sense and it defies logic. But while you're in the moment, you don't care. You're just along for the ride. Like it just takes you on this journey, and you know, it's one of those ones you don't want to think too hard about it. Just let it take you where it takes you. And just... It's hard to describe. It's a freaking masterpiece. I love it. Demons 1 and 2. I've only seen the second... Uh, sorry, the first one. I've never actually got around to seeing the second one. Even though I did own it for a while. <laughs> but I remember really enjoying the first one. Uh, that was actually Lamberto Bava. Who was Mario Bava's son, I believe. And it was... Um, uh, produced by Dario Argento, he kind of uh, right here, bring, bring up a dog fight. Him. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Do Demons One and Two are good. Uh, they're not obviously. He just said they weren't directed. Yeah, they're only really. produced, but they're done by Lamberto Bava. I, and if you don't know I, who Lamberto Bava is, I just said that. <laughs> okay, but, no, but not, not not he has he has horror pre pedigree. He was trained. He was an understudy of Dario Argento, which is why. Yeah. Dario Dento produced some of his first movies because that's how it worked. You understudy, he was like a second unit director for Dario. Yeah. 
Same thing with M- Michiel uh, Seove, who did a uh, Stage Fright. Uh, mm-hmm. If you haven't seen Sp- Stage Fright, holy fucking shit. Mm-hmm. That is such a good movie. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, like... I love those movies. I, love, I even have the stupid, awful Demons 3 the Ogre and Black Demons, which are, <laughs> which are sequels, but they're sequels in name only. Sequels, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they're not good movies, but I got them. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen any. I've only seen the first one. But uh, but we um, need to watch Opera again because I have the Blu-ray, and I haven't watched it since the DVD came out way yeah, back when. I'd like to get the Blu-ray for my next watching, even though the DVD is really good. Like, it's as, as high quality as a DVD can be. For the very limited edition that came out, like, a month ago, I couldn't afford, and I know you can't afford it, it's already gone, yeah. but there's a standard edition with almost the same yeah. on-disc content. It's, there's a few small differences, but, and no soundtrack. But. Yeah, it's the same with, like, when all those Synapse Steelbooks came out, I wanted all of them, especially the Suspiria one, but I uh, just could not afford it, so... Just the regular I've not missed one yet, but I'm knocking on wood on that by one, the, you know. The, the problem is uh, shipping them to Canada and after the exchange rate, <laughs> it literally... It's like 120 it, It's about $80 Canadian per release. Plus shipping, right? No, like including shipping. Like Oh, the, I thought they were like 120 to ship to it, Canada. It's like, it, but, it, I mean, it's still ridiculous. Like $80 yeah. for each one, and I, I can't justify that, no matter how much I love the movie. Not in this day and age. Um, I mean, like about 40, 40 bucks is about where I'll top out on a special edition for a movie. Sometimes fifty, maybe, but that's about as high as I'll go. It better be a movie I really want. That's yeah, all I gotta say. Exactly. Like generally speaking, um, I'm looking at about thirty or less for those special edition type movies. <clears throat> there, like editions. But... My cap is forty bucks at most, and I, there's like five grindhouse releasing titles I'm behind on, and they're all thirty bucks. I'm just like, I don't know if I want to pay thirty bucks for this. Yeah. I need Maniac, Zombie. Uh, I need Stenhol Syndrome. Oh, I need. Zombie. Yeah, you're talking about the Fulci one? Yeah, what's that new one? There's yeah, another there's really new one that. that uh, new York Ripper, I think, is the newest one that just announced. That'd be a good one, yeah. I'm like, I'm so far behind on them. I gotta keep... They're like 30 bucks a piece, but yeah. they're like so good. I know. They're Criterion level releases. They really are. <sighs> see, see, Stream Factory. <laughs> Stream days. Factory, take note. When you want to charge me $30 for a release, you better give me $30 for the content. Blow Underground's been doing that. Yeah. Oh, that's blow, all I'm saying. Blow, yeah. blow Underground? Blow, blow Underground. Blow Underground. Yeah, that's right. Blow Underground. <laughs> Take me down, that's Blow right, Underground. Like a lot of these indie labels, they really do, uh, you know, I mean, they're, they're labels run by film fans. They are fans of these films who are producing these uh, releases, like these official releases. And uh, the, the love and the care really shows. Not only do they do the best job they can on the transfers, but they give you a lot of really worth, worthwhile content. Uh, so we're talking about you know labels like Synapse and Severin and Grindhouse Releasing and Blue, Blue Underground, Underground and all those. Yeah. You know they do great stuff, and uh, I would I would absolutely support them more if I had more money. Because... Yeah, and Severin releases are reasonably priced. They're rarely above twenty two bucks, even for like their high end ones. Like every movie is twenty two bucks or less on their site when it comes out, and most of them drop down to like fifteen bucks on Amazon. Like they're very reasonable for what you're getting, which is high quality releases. You know, yeah. That's why Severin's one of my favorite companies. Vinegar Syndrome is another one. Vinegar Syndrome. Vinegar Syndrome. Is, yeah. They're basic criterions for movies that you've never heard of. Yeah. Just like Criterion. Well, and even some of Synapse's <laughs> stuff I've seen available in stores here. Like, they actually get, like, pretty decent-sized releases. Uh, Icefan, can you repeat the Arrow announcements this week? I can't remember what they were. <laughs> apparently they were crazy, but I don't... Apparently I don't remember them, so maybe not that crazy. Original Dawn, Fulci cut. Yeah, well, I mean, the Lucio Fulci... Which one are you talking about? The Fulci cut of Dawn? There was an Argento, there's no Fulci cut. There's yeah, an there's Argento, no Argento cut of, of Don. It's not the original cut, though. It's the producer's cut. It's the Italian cut. It's, it's the Italian cut. I mean, essentially, there's three cuts of Don. There's the there's the George Romero theatrical cut, which he considers the, considered the definitive cut. Then there's the extended cut, which basically just kind of has everything, including the kitchen sink, thrown in. Um, then there's the Argento cut, which is a more streamlined version which cuts out a lot of the character moments and but has more of the gore um 
because you know Italians love their blood yeah. and guts, I guess. But <laughs> uh, my favorite one is there's a fan edit out there called the Mall Hours Cut, which has all the footage, nice, all of it, and okay. it has the Italian soundtrack and gore yeah. and yes, all of it. This was the one <laughs> I like the extended cut, but the one reason the one uh, shortcoming of it was uh, not all the Goblin music was quite ready yet. It's almost yeah. like a work print, actually, but it's it's a little more polished than a work print. But um, but not all of the Goblin soundtrack was done yet, so there is some other music in there in place of some it's of the Goblin soundtrack. Library music, specifically. Yeah. Just so clear. Which is really basic library cause, music. Because, yeah, I mean, that, that was my introduction to Goblin, actually, for mm. uh, music. And, of course, Goblin worked with Dario Argento quite a bit on his films. So it's, you know, Romero and Argento clearly had a, a nice friendship relationship, professional relationship there. So and Goblin actually recently reformed after they broke up in the oh, 80s. So nice. Ca Claude Simonetti's been doing scores for movies for Italian films for years oh, after yeah. Goblin. Yeah. yeah. I know. Oh, all right. So the Arrow Renouncements for Weird Science, 16 Candles, and uh, Shram, which is a movie no one here knows about. I know about it. But okay. Very cool. 16 Candles and Weird Science. Pretty cool haul for uh, Arrow, though. Uh, season 2 of Cobra Kai dropped on YouTube Prime this week. Uh, for those who don't know, Cobra Kai is basically Karate Kid the series, starring Ralph Macchio and the yeah, the guy who played Johnny, the, his rival in the uh, in the movies. So, And apparently it's really freaking good. So check it out. I think you can I see the first told. season for free and the first episode of season two for free. The rest you got to subscribe to Prime. Um, then also we're apparently apparently getting the second season of She-Ra and the Princesses of Power on Netflix this week. So there you go. I've not watched season one yet. I've heard it's excellent. I've been meaning to watch it with Rose. But um, yeah. There we go. Oh, is there more new new episodes of The Tick this week too? Sweet. Very nice. I like the tick. I need to finish watching season one. I only watched the first, what, ten episodes that they released initially. They released season one in two parts. I only saw the first batch. Didn't see the second batch. So, really liked what I saw. When I watch it again, I'll probably just start over again because it's been so long. And it's a pretty quick watch anyway. It's only half-hour episodes. We're not seeing any Tick cartoons or the two live actions. Well, damn it, Morgan. Get on all of that. <laughs> the Tick is great. Uh, especially if you know anything about comic books, because it's, uh, it's both a parody and loving homage to every comic book trope and character ever. It's uh, just a really fun fun series and fun world. Um, probably the most faithful to the comics would be the uh, animated series that they did back in the mid-90s. Uh, which was great. Spoon! Then they did... Yes! Spoon! <laughs> and then they did... Uh, there was a short-lived live-action series that started, started Patrick Warburton as The Tick, uh, which uh, aired in the early fun. 2000s. Very <laughs> funny. Sadly, only like nine episodes were made. Uh, yeah. So now, they've done a new series on Amazon Prime, which is actually quite faithful to the comics. Uh, does not tone it down at all, which the original live-action series and anime series obviously had to do, but uh, is able to keep some of the edgier humor from the comics in. And it's really well done. It's very funny, very well written, very well cast, and just definitely worth checking out. It's yes. hilarious. And I'm glad to see it's got a season two. It's already ran longer than the previous live-action version of The Tick. Pretty much. So. Yeah. On that note, I'm going to have to bow out. All right. Take it easy, buddy. Well, I all think right. we're all going to bow out because we're almost at the uh, two hour mark here anyway. <coughs> and we're just. I'm tired. We finished all our news like way faster than I thought we would, and we've just been babbling about movies for the past 45 minutes. So. <laughs> which is fine. Movie. Which is fine. Exactly. Fair. It's just kind of I what like we do. Movies. So Justin's been quiet for like 40 minutes. Yeah, doing Justin. Yeah. He's, doing yeah. opening, he's been opening baseball cards. Oh, kidding. that's what he's doing. Are you I've pricing baseball cards? Putting baseball cards that I opened into my binder. Oh. Have you made a dollar oh. oh. Equally nerdy. Excellent. They yes. approve. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Hey, man, I do the same thing with my, uh, my trading I cards. I should do something similar to some of mine. Get a binder for them. It's not a bad idea. 
You might have five whole dollars worth of cards there. <laughs> that you paid twenty dollars for. Yeah. That's right. That's also correct. More like fifty dollars for the card. That's all right. <laughs> so right. Hey, he got the wind dinosaurs hey. attack one, so there you go. Hey look, he's as long as he's having fun, what difference does it really make, you know? Exactly. We make fun of him, but we do it in, in Jess, because we love the guy. Well, and because oh, yeah. we are all equally obsessed about our <laughs> own stupid, worthless things, too, so... <laughs> I mean, have you watched my wrestling streams? I'm literally doing an e fed <laughs> that only I give a shit about. Yeah, exactly. I don't give a fuck. I, mean, I, 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 too, have, like, these old, crusty Dragon Ball Z cards. There you go. Wow, actually, some of those are actually kind of rare, Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Just because, you know, <laughs> no one took care of them back then, you know what I mean? I did get this one. Oh. It's a commemorative patch card. Uh -huh. See, that, that might actually be worth money. Cause there's a there's a limited aspect to that. Surprisingly, what I find interesting is that those kinds with, like, the the actual game-used material, <clears throat> for some reason, are worth less than autographs. Those will be yeah. worth more in the future, trust me. Yeah. I would it's just a matter of time. It really is. Oh, I was yeah, shocked because yeah. there are some with, like, Babe Ruth's, like, autograph on there, but it's taken from, like, a check that he wrote years ago. <laughs> And because it's taken from a check, the value is less. I'm like, dude, how many fucking Babe Ruth autographs do you think are out there? Seriously? Yeah, right? True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Stout, you're a baseball guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> well. This, uh, th this booklet that I have here that has all these old, you know, Dragon Ball. Magic Swamp. Yeah, yeah, there's uh, some old magic cards that are in here. Yeah. The front cover of this book, it, uh, do you recognize this logo? Oh, it's the elephants. It's the A's, right? <laughs> yeah, it is an old style A's. The A's used to have an elephant? Why Why don't they have looks that looks about now, circa 1993, but I can't be sure. Yeah, yeah, this is not the Oakland A's. <laughs> the, this is the A's is it? It's the Modesto <laughs> A's. Oh, okay. So... Yeah, that's, for those who don't know, that's where he grew up. Yeah, but it is also a official sponsor of Major League Baseball. Yeah, back to all those old ass logos on the bottom. Oh, nice. I yeah, recognize some of those logos. I that, think. that that binder is probably worth more than the cards it holds. Oh yeah, many people probably bought those. Things. True. In I fact, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I. I have to go through my cards, but I, I know I have at least a few random sports cards in there that people just gave me. But, uh, Pass them to Stout. Don't here, even know what turn. they are. I might just throw them into Stout's package. Ooh. Random spider. But no, like that's the minor league teams don't generally get merchandise like that. No. Even so in yeah, 93. This is, this is a 93 <laughs> minor league. A team doesn't exist anymore, I'm pretty sure. Wait. Oh, no, yeah. They haven't existed since, like, 2001. <laughs> Bruh, Star vs. The Forces of Evil is still going? I thought that one was done. Or is it just that you... Yes, it's done. You just haven't caught up on it yet. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's ending soon. The last half of that hasn't okay. showed yet. I, remember... uh, I, I went down the rabbit hole in dead teams once. <laughs> yeah, and that was for no reason. Rosie watched some of that. I remember thinking it was pretty funny. Uh, and the new TMNT, I've not seen any of the new TMNT. I didn't know it even started yet. I used to write about it, and I haven't watched the new stuff. Send me all oh. your magic cards. Actually, that reminds me, when is Volume 4 of the Ultimate TMNT paperback coming out? And your Star Wars cards. And your Lord of the Rings cards. <laughs> These are all games I love and love to get cards for again. I did pre-order a few way, guys, that aren't coming out uh, until the end of the year, so I'm hoping oh, I have yeah, money by just, then. <laughs> so you guys, just so you guys know, Sean is about to experience yet again that lovely feeling of the overdraft fee. Oh, so yes. If you can spare anything at all, he would be very appreciative, I'm sure. Oh, there it is. Okay, Volume 4 comes out in November. Yes, I should have money by then, I hope. That's the end of the fucking year. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm going to link you to something in Cram, and you're going to laugh your ass off. Maybe. Yeah, by all means, Especially if you feel so case. inclined to contribute to the stream and to my uh, continued well-being, i.e. having a roof over my head and food on my table, uh, you will find the uh, direct contributions link in the description. Or you just uh, stop by the Twitch stream and throw some bits in the jar. You know, it's all good. 
It's all good. It all helps. Or you can just sit back and watch him implode, you know. That, or you can just, just sit back and watch my world burn. So Yeah. <laughs> I know a I lot mean there's of you nothing wrong with that, right? I probably mean... wanted to. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Eddie in their head, Dick. Thank you very much. Yes. Oh shit. Because remember in the uh, immortal see. words of get in it for truth, I am so thirsty. <laughs> oh, well, you are thirsty. I'm thirsty, too. Me, too. Cheers. Hey, wait, is that a baseball can? No, it's Dr. Pepper. <laughs> wait a minute. The skin Stop sneeze hijacked your camera. Uh, uh, can you hold that up again? It's just Dr. Pepper, oh, okay? I thought it was baseball motifed. No, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eric... The fucking team is the Modesto Nuts. Yep. <laughs> 2005, they adopted, they lost the uh, Modesto Athletics, or A's, uh -huh. and became the Modesto Nuts. <laughs> Wonderful. Because the new name was chosen to reflect the several types of nuts that are grown in the region. Mostly almonds and walnuts. Heard. See... We the Portland team went the other way around. They were the Portland Beavers, which is just I mean, go. come on. That writes itself. <laughs> they were that and then they turned into the fucking Hillsboro Hops. Uh-huh. What? Sure. Hops as in like, you know. He's been trying to end the, the stream, you bucks. Money, okay. <laughs> no. What <Dick> jokes? <laughs> All of the dick jokes. Dick jokes and <laughs> farts. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there's that one that's just gurgly, and this is like <laughs> just gurgly <laughs> mess in my pants. <laughs> dick jokes. <coughs> um. Yeah, so those of you on Twitch, uh, stick around. I'm going to be coming back in a few minutes. Got some videos to work on. Uh, doing Actually, this is the last Saturday Night Insanity before May. May is the beginning of the summer of Batman. So I'm going to be doing all kinds of Batman stuff. I'm not going to commit to anything in terms of a sheer number of videos. I'm just going to say, I'm going to do a bunch of Batman stuff until I get fucking sick of doing Batman stuff. So enjoy it while it lasts. It's like the best on idea is to not put a number. Just do it until you get sick of them. So thirsty. <laughs> the thirst thirsty is for real. thirsty for Batman. Thirsty for <laughs> Batman. That's right. We gotta find a clip of someone saying thirsty in some sensual way. So put that on the soundboard. <laughs> Monetize that shit. So I know you know, Patrick. I'm telling the rest of the world who may not know. Jeez, it's not all about you, man. <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, anyway, so is, doing dude. a whole bunch of Batman stuff. Uh, going to be playing some games. Going to be reviewing some movies. Got some closer looks. Uh, probably going to show some of the comics I've got because I've been reading a lot of the comics as well. I know. I have the movie adaption <laughs> comic. I know you know. Jeez, man. <laughs> you have the movie adaption comic? <laughs> Sorry, what? Do you have the movie adaption comic, Sean? Yes, I do. I have Grimm's the first little, two. Little common bought Batman comics. <laughs> I have the first two. I have the nice square bound one on the glossy paper. It's it's nice. It's the most commonly printed <laughs> Batman comic, and I they go for like dollars. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's actually really. I know. It's a really nice adaptation, and <laughs> contains some alternate uh, bits that weren't in the final movie. It's true. I got it in the disc, the ninth Dracula fun pack. That's how I got it. Oh, okay. The uh, I think they did a similar edition for Batman Returns, but I did not get that one. I got just the regular single, like sixty-four page comic adaptation. Still on like nice quality paper. Not quite as nice as the first one though. But uh, I remember both of those. I the returns was. I don't think the returns is so printed as the first one was. No, I think the. Uh, I I remember <laughs> thinking like both of those adaptations were really well done like they had really nice artwork that really captured the likenesses of the actors quite well 
and uh yeah just good yeah good solid adaptations but uh i don't think i've ever actually read no i've never actually read the novelization of batman returns i've read the batman one a couple of times but um i should really own the returns one yet i do i have the first sure. again i have both of the first the first two were the ones i was obsessed with it was the third one on i kind of like ones. got meh <laughs> you like burton's and vision i i yeah. love the burton ones absolutely and um was kind of obsessed with them so, oh really yeah just a little bit ah oh, gee i Dude, could <laughs> never have guessed that you know what's funny though i never actually owned the score for Batman Returns, and I actually think it's the better score. So I really need to get that one of these days. Score. Can we score from the goddamn Batman Returns? Not even from Batman. I have it for Batman. I have no, Batman. no, I said isn't the Batman animated like theme? Isn't that actually from Batman Returns and not from Batman? It's the Batman Returns version. Uh, possibly. I think someone said. I think I read that somewhere like long been. ass time ago. Might have been, yeah, because anyway. the Batman Returns version is is kind of punched up a little bit from the original yeah. but uh yeah i think uh, that's entirely possible um i mean it, it's still uh, it's, i agree it's better than the first one score yeah. wise well i've I mean, actually liked the movie more than the first one i like the second one more than the first one well the while. second one i think yeah so did i actually it was it, it kind of i waffled between the two and the second one was my favorite for quite some time but um now i kind of like them both equally but for different reasons yeah, yeah. But in terms of the score, like, I think... I'm going to talk about this when I do my review, which I'll probably be doing in about ten minutes. Um, I actually think um, Danny Elfman really showed how much he had matured as a composer, even just in the three years since the previous movie. Um, like, it is a way more complex score and has, like, I just some terrific themes for both, you know, for Batman, distinct theme, Catwoman, distinct theme, Penguin, distinct theme... And when there's, like, several of them in the scene, just how it weaves between them so seamlessly. It's, like, just, ah, oh, love that score. So good. Sorry. Unrelated chuckling. I'm Batman. No, I am not. That's Patrick Butler said. That was funny. <laughs> and then we chuckle. I was like, okay. <laughs> All righty. Okay, well, that is it, I think, for this week. Um, speaking of Batman, I need to... Batman videos, I need to go and work on my Batman videos. So, Batman videos, I mean... We'll see you next time. Until then, thanks for watching, and sayonara. Penis. Bye. Delgadita. Look smart.